What's going on, everybody? And welcome to Foosball Fanatics by way of Day by Day Network. I'm your host, Davon Nixon, a.k.a. Day with an I, not a Y. Do not ask why. And man, we're back. So if you're really a truly day one fan of the whole Day by Day brand, this whole thing started with a football podcast on November 20th, 2019. That's how this whole shebang started with one microphone, with my OG Melly Mel, shout out to Melly Mel from Southeast DC, and a bottle of Henny. That's all it was. That's how this whole ordeal started. And here we are today. Um, I did leave Foosball Fanatics in the wind for a little bit for about two years, but we're bringing it back to kick off the 2024 season. We are here, ladies and gentlemen, and there's no other way I could imagine starting off this show than with the special guest that we have joining us for today's episode. Ladies and gentlemen, we are joined by comedian, entertainer, yeah. sports broadcaster, sports yeah. journalist, yeah. sports radio Sports host, radio yeah. huh? talk show host okay. and part time circus performer, ladies and gentlemen. We are joined <laughs> by the one and only the real QCB. What's up, man? What's going on, man? Right. How are you? Hey, man, I'm, I'm not gonna. My football season is like, do you smell that? I do. Well, that's my red polo cologne, but I'm talking about do you smell football season is right around the corner, it's in the air. Man, man. that's that blue jean from Walmart. He ain't, you ain't fooling nobody. <laughs> But yeah, it is. So it's pretty much week zero. So this is going to drop Thursday, two days before week zero officially kicks off. We have Florida State versus Georgia Tech, and we have Fresno State versus, uh, man, look at me, unprofessional on the start. But that's how we do things. This is the real deal. I'm not going to fake it to y'all. So Fresno plays Michigan, I believe. Right at the gate? Yep. Oh, this Saturday, Fresno State at Michigan. Um, I'm going to take Fresno to cover the points. So the season is here. And uh, let me just mention this as well. You can catch the real QCB on Fox Sports Radio Charlotte yeah. every Monday and Friday from 4 to 6 p.m. on your drive, on your drive to yep. home from work. Or if you don't have work and if you're a bum, it's all love still. still you can uh, tune in from yeah. 4 to 6 p.m. Easy every money. Monday and Friday, Easy Fox money. Sports Radio Charlotte. You can go to the website and get uh, listen to it directly from the website. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. Well, first off, let's start right here. So... Obviously, the people know the team that I represent, the Philadelphia Eagles. Yes. So me and you are cool. We're tight. We go back like car seats and seat belts. Yep. But we also bump heads as well because we of the teams heads. that we represent. I'm an Eagles fan and you're a Dallas Cowboys fan. That's right. I'm not going to lie. The fact that I even let this, not just in my house, but on my show, for one, that shows the emotional control I have. Right. And the mental stability I have. Right. And my respect for you. Because you're my dog. Because I've never been this... Like, the closer I get to it... Remember on uh, Vampire in Brooklyn when Eddie Murphy stepped into the church when yeah. he was the preacher and he yeah. got hot? Yeah, absolutely. That's how I feel uh, right now. Off his thing. That's how I feel right now next to this helmet. Well, first of all, I want to say uh, thank you. Because mm -hmm. I know it's hard. Mm -hmm. But if Kendrick Lamar got that pop-out concert and have all those different sets... Mm -hmm. in one place and take a picture. And I think we can do that as Eagles and Cowboys fans. So we represent our fan base. And yeah. uh, don't that damn star just look good, though? It's a star. Don't it look good? It looks it's basic. It's a star, man. It looks very basic. We ain't got no goofy animal on the side <laughs> of it. We have a star, dude. Well, first of all, <laughs> first of all, this ain't no goofy animal. This is literally the animal that represents America. And and for those tuning in that are watching, first of all, let me give a shout out to Mauricia who hand painted this portrait right this here. This is dope. This is hand painted, ladies and gentlemen. This isn't nothing I bought off of Amazon. This is literally hand painted and shipped to me by my homegirl Mauricia. So huge shout out to her. I told her every episode this is going to be front and center. And it's and right I'm, there. And I'm, it's right here. I'm not. I'm not up. lying about it. Um, but now this, I wonder if she could get, paint me a pitch portrait I, of Danny White. Danny White. Yeah, cowboy. I literally wouldn't even let her do that. <laughs> like, I would I would pay her not to do that. I'm like, whatever he's going to pay you for that portrait, I will pay you to not do it. Oh, man. Absolutely I, not. I, I'm happy to be here, man. We That's what's up, man. That's what's up. So, I mean, yeah. you're a Cowboys fan. The yes. helmet is here looking good, but you're dressed like a Frankenberry. I, I, <laughs> I know. And he's like, Q, we're doing a sports show. It's whatever my butler Nigel lays out for me. That's why I pay him. That's why I have to wear it. But I'm representing. I got my helmet here. I got my flag here. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know what? Next time I'm coming dapped up in my cowboy gear. So it's going to be all good. Yeah, I'm looking yeah. forward to it already. Looking all right, forward cool. to it already. Yeah. All right. So let's get straight into it. Okay. Um, we're going to start with the NFL. All right. 
So since we're starting with the NFL uh, preseason, even before preseason, let's talk about the draft. One of the most highly anticipated draft prospects um, of this generation, Caleb Williams out of USC. Let me first off ask you this. Do you think Caleb Williams will exceed or fail to meet expectations placed on him this year? Um, I think he's going to fail expectations. Number one, we got to figure out what the expectations are. Mm -hmm. You know, he's going to what try to win a division. Uh, definitely, it's easy to be better than what they were. Mm -hmm. But I saw his preseason games, right? Mm -hmm. And I know preseason doesn't mean anything, but when your first team is out on that preseason field, you want to see them at least move the ball down the field, right. put points on the board, right. move the chains, don't get no sacks, definitely don't get nobody hurt. I just don't see... I don't see it in him. He never won a big game at Southern Cal. You know, he had that one time when he was crying and jumped on his mama's lap, and I thought he was actually trying to get back in her womb. It was it was, it was was crazy. I, I, I thought she was going to whip it out and breastfeed him. So I said, that's a leader of men right there. I don't know. You can't be emotional? I thought that was a bit much. It was a regular game. It yeah. wasn't a, a big bowl game or a national championship game. But they game. lost a few up until that point. And I think that came from a place of he was tired of losing. I think he's an ultimate competitor. Yeah, it was a bit much. I don't want my quarterback crying like that. I highly doubt he'll do that in the NFL. You sure? I, I highly doubt. Oh, okay. I'm, not, I'm saying it's not probable. I'm not saying it's not right. possible. But um, I, I think he'll do fine. He didn't have the weapons that he would have liked ever at USC. I think that was the reason why he got so frustrated at that point when he was crying in his mom's life. He had a bad last year at Southern Cal, too. He did. He did fall off. I mean, bad uh, compared he, to what he was before did. his Absolutely. Heisman year. I mean, Absolutely. but he won the Heisman. Yeah. You know what I mean? And well, I the Heisman ain't what it used to be. What do you mean? It, uh, it, don't, it don't hold the significance as it used to be when you would win it back in the day. Why doesn't it? They give it to the best player, do they not? Not necessarily. The Heisman Trophy don't really hold no weight. Like, it, I mean, I could name guys. I mean, Troy Smith... Something called Troy Smith won a Heisman from Ohio State. Because he was good at Ohio State. He Q, was don't do good that. at Ohio State. He, was, he, he, he fell off when he got to the NFL, and I know that because my whole family Ravens yeah, fans. Yeah, Ravens fans. He was a backup all his career with the Baltimore Ravens, but no, Troy Smith was like that at Ohio State. Like some guys like Cam Newton won a Heisman. Like mm -hmm. we, we could name them, and then we could name the ones that was like, eh, So eh. is that due to lack of the Heisman holding weight or lack of production in each class? that didn't have that standout like Lamar Jackson or well, Cam Newton. Well, right, more to what you just said, the mm -hmm. production in each class. But right. winning the Heisman Trophy it ain't all what it used to be, um, I guess. back. I mean, like, back in the day and then up to, like, when Cam Newton won it, and it just, it just don't hold the weight that it used to have back in yeah, the day. Yeah, I see what you're saying. And we're going to get back to the original question. So let me ask you, this is a early take. I like to have something called Wild Takes on this show. Okay. So let's start the Wild Take right here. Your wild take for 2024 football season Heisman winner is? Shador Sanders. Okay. Shador Sanders. Shador Sanders should be the best quarterback in um, college football right now. The college football quarterbacks right now aren't as deep as they was last year. Mm -hmm. You know, you had about four or five quarterbacks that went early in the rounds of the NFL draft last year. But you right. got Shador Sanders. You got the quarterback uh, Carson Beck out of Georgia. Mm -hmm. And um, it's just it's not that many the quarterback out of Texas. It's not that many qu dope quarterbacks like that. And Shadur Sanders coming in what he did last year, even though he was running for his life and all them yeah. sacks, and they hit one one game after they won the first three. Yeah, and on the remaining schedule, with Shadur Sanders definitely should um, be number one front runner to win a Heisman. Okay. Yeah. Because so, it's a quarterback award. It is. Yeah. It is. Um, the last non QB to win it is none other than Devontae Smith himself, <laughs> who I'm actually repping today. This was not planned, but that's just how it is when you're an Eagles fan. We, you know what I'm saying? We 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 get talent over here. Yeah. So my wild take for 2024 Heisman winner is going to be Dylan Gabriel, quarterback for the Oregon Ducks. Okay. Who transferred from Oklahoma. Um, I liked him at Oklahoma. Okay. Oklahoma, as of recently, aren't what they used to be. So right. he wasn't surrounded with the best talent. Um, but for him to go to Oregon with that offensive scheme, with that tenured coach, uh, and they, they're they bringing back a lot of talent on both sides of the ball, 
and we all know Oregon's offense has always been yeah. prestigious for spreading it out. And fast and pace. Fast pace yeah. and, building, and being very creative. So I'm going to go with Dylan Gabriel, and he'll have the games to prove such. He's in the Big Ten. If he... I know they play Ohio State. Um, I think they play Michigan as well. If he beats Ohio State, if he mm -hmm. beats Michigan, if he runs through the Big Ten, then I think it's going to be Gillen, uh, Dylan Gabriel's award. Well, you're saying win. something. Hold on. Pump your brakes there. Mm -hmm. you, you're saying something that's – that's. you just said beat Ohio State and beat Michigan mm -hmm. in the same breath. Yeah. Michigan is the defending national champions. And right. we know how tough Ohio State being with Coach Day up there. And Ohio State usually have a dope quarterback – uh, but they recently they've been kind of struggling. Yeah, they fell they, off. Right, far as quarterbacks go, so they right. have a new quarterback. These transfer portals are saving some some um, some college football programs. Yeah, you know, Joe Burrow went to the portal, mm -hmm. and look what that great year he had a historic year, maybe the best one single year besides Cam Newton's at Auburn. You know, Cam Newton's at one year. Yeah. Oh, single year. Yeah, I agree. I think single Cam year. is number one. Right. I would put Burrow because Cam didn't have Jamar Chase and Justin Jefferson right. and uh, right. the running back, uh, Clyde, um, uh, the dude from Kansas City. Yeah. He didn't have all that yeah. talent. And he still, went, like, threw Will. Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know what he mean? down 21 in Tuscaloosa yeah. and came back and beat Alabama. Yeah, yeah. That's, so when I, he, that's when Cam Newton was born. Yeah. Right there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So I agree. Before he started wearing Ellen DeGeneres clothes. <laughs> but other than that, yeah, that, that single one year, that's the whole conversation. But, um... So, so you're saying for me mentioning Oregon possibly beating Michigan and Ohio State is oh, crazy? And, and yeah, that's crazy. It, that's insane. And that's what I'm saying. I, that's such a bold statement. That's such a difficult task to do. Right. What I'm saying is if he's able to do that, then he's going to be front runner for Michigan because they're going. So they're playing Ohio State at Oregon. OK, when is that game? Uh, October 12th. OK. And then Oregon is going to Michigan November 2nd. Oh, it's going to be cold. Yeah. And so. then they're ending the season at Washington, who is defending national champion runner-ups. But they lost their coach to Alabama. Yeah, and they lost some talent as well. Yeah. But they're bringing back a good running back. Um, that's what that's all I'm saying. With them in the Big Ten and playing those three teams in particular. Um, and, but you also got to understand this, too. To win the Heisman, you got to put up some numbers. So, yeah. And the, oh, yeah, so you got you to smash the cupcake. We're not saying pause on here, right? Because I'm an adult. I don't say pause. <laughs> I'm an adult. I don't say pause. You don't have to. Oh, okay. I mean, I, 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 hopefully, I, if you said, I might get it the hell up out of here. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking of it. Okay, so the I'm, fact that you even brought it up means well, you were thinking about saying it. Well, sometimes you, you still consider one of these youngers. I mean, you still what you tuck your you tuck your pants and your socks. If I'm wearing like sweats, right? Yeah, All right. I, I still don't know what that means. It shows off the sneaker. But, <laughs> <laughs> That's a fast. But I'm just saying we I, we we. I don't, I can't, I'm an adult. I can't say pause. Okay. All right, you gonna say it? You're not gonna say it, right? I'm not gonna say right. it. For the, sake, for the sake of you being here, I won't say it. <laughs> right. No, but see, when the winner has been far as, you have to put up numbers because we know besides them big opening games on uh -huh. some of these teams to right. kick off college football because it right. gets so high and got the yeah. games at neutral sites. <clears throat> After that, I before, some programs have big games, maybe week two or week three. Mm -hmm. But in like the first four weeks, <clears throat> there's some cupcakes thrown in there. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta oh, put, yeah, of course. You got to put numbers up. Yeah. So when you do play the big schools and get the dubs, some Heisman voters like, okay. And they look at you, what you've done so far this season. And mm -hmm. then you take care of Ohio State and Michigan and Washington's on that schedule as mm -hmm. well. Yeah, you may, you may get invited to New York as one of the Heisman finalists. Yeah, and I think with Dylan Gabriel, he was good at – Oklahoma, because right. he can throw in, he can throw on a run. He's yeah. elusive. I highly doubt he's going to go to Oregon and be less productive in the passing game. It's Oregon's offense and it's him. I mean, I'm, I think that's a give me. You know what I mean? I'm not – yeah, they have a good, a really good running back. But still, he's going to get at least 350 a game. Well, he's following Bo Nix because Bo mm. Nix was at Oregon, right? Because he left Correct. Auburn yeah. and he went to Oregon. Oregon. And, I, and I thought he'd never be heard from again. He looked good in his yeah, preseason uh, game. Yeah, and he, what, against the Packers, it's crazy how Bo Nix is just coming out balling against the Packers like mm -hmm. that. So, I mean, against the uh, with the for the Denver Broncos. So yeah. you know, but yeah, I could see that. But you have to ball out to get the Heisman. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So um, to go back to the NFL, you said you believe that Caleb Williams will. Fail to meet expectations. At yeah. first, we wanted to label what expectations are for Caleb right. Williams because it was it winning the NFC North. I believe so. And I only say that because of the talent surrounding him. Yeah, but it's he, different if he was going into this with no help or even just one receiver. But the fact the fact that he has uh 
I don't know, Obuze, I don't know yeah, how to pronounce yeah, it from Washington. DJ Moore. Oh, yeah, DJ Moore. And um uh uh why did I just draw a blank? My man from Chargers. Keenan? Uh, Keenan Allen. Yeah, Keenan Allen. Like you have three, well, two proven receivers and one who looked good so far in preseason. And then the Bears already had a top 10 defense. Like he set up to produce, to win. That's right. why I think it's to win that division, which some are saying is the toughest division in football at this point. But still, the fact that you have those weapons and he's coming into it as a first round pick starter from day one, I think they're telling him, hey, we want you to take us to win the division this year. Okay, because did the Detroit Lions leave the division? Nope. Wasn't no conference realignment, right? Nope. They, it's still a division to lose. Absolutely. It's not the Packers. Mm -hmm. It's something called Jordan Love. Uh, who's been a thorn in my Cowboys ass, you know, for, uh, you know, since the season ended last yeah. year. But no, and then you got to take offensive line. Justin Fields was running for his life up there. And then he how was. good the Bears defense going to be. Like, all that comes into account. We can't yeah. just say uh, he's going to come in and just snatch the division from the damn Detroit Lions. That's a bit disrespectful to Dan, Coach Campbell, and the Detroit Lions. I'm not saying that's what he's going to do. I'm saying that's what the expectations are for To him. win a division. To win the division. As a rookie. I'm pretty sure. In. Yes, I'm pretty sure the head coach and the GM are telling him, hey, we're surrounding you with all these weapons because we're tired of hearing about the Packers and the Lions. I know, but that's, we a, that's, to win the that's division. huge, though. To it win is. a division it's Very a big expectations. Very big expectations. But that's what it is nowadays. It's not like before when Peyton Manning led, uh, set an NFL record with 28 picks in a season, yeah, yeah, yeah. and he can still become great. Yeah, Troy Aikman won one, one game. Like, we, 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 got, we got them stories all day. Absolutely. Yeah, well, he's a bum. So, yeah. you got... <laughs> <laughs> so you so you had so you have these different expectations on rookie QBs now. If they don't produce in the season, maybe two, the fans are trying to get them out of there. It's crazy. And, yeah. and the leashes on coaches are short, and the leashes on quarterbacks who get drafted in these high rounds are shorter mm -hmm. than the man coming out of a pool. It's crazy how short these leashes are, man. If <clears throat> so just but Justin Fields had like three different head coaches he had to go through. Yeah. You know, he had like three, and that's running three new systems. Mm -hmm. And it's, listen, the Bears are building for the future. We'll see if Kayla Williams can be the franchise quarterback. We've mm -hmm. seen guys come in and not pan out. You had Marcus Mariota, you had, you had Jameis Winston. So we could name him. We could right. name him. Yeah, right. Trey Lance for the San Francisco 49ers. Right. He ain't even on, on the team no more. He's with you. He's not with y'all anymore. He's not on the 49ers no more. Oh, yeah. You're saying he's not on the team well, anymore. Well, I don't know what the hell he's doing for our team. I think he's. Carrying uh, Dak Prescott's cleats. Yeah. Who's a top 10 quarterback. But that's. I'll give you that. I'll give you, I'll give you Dak top seven, maybe even top five, but we'll get into that. Oh, okay. Um, let me give my answer on whether or not I think Caleb Williams. And, and you said expectations for Caleb Williams is to win the win division. Win the division. Held the quote Whitney Houston, held to the no. You know and what? Bobby, give me another hit, but go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> The NFC North is the most competitive division in football today. Okay, I agree with that. Because I can see... Um, it wait, being, hold on. Go ahead. Give, give me your reason. I'm I thinking. can see it being won by the Lions, the Packers, who everyone is so sold on. Yeah. Or the Bears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bears, like we said, they had the defense. I mean, they're on the conversation. Yeah. I, I won't disagree with that. So if the expectations are for him to meet the division, I mean, to win the division, right? I'm going to say that... I think it's very possible, even probable, for Caleb Williams to lead the Bears to an NFC North division title because of the factors that I laid out, because of the surrounding weapons he has on offense. And why are you talking? Pull up their schedule. Will do. Yeah. Because of the surrounding weapons he has on offense and because of – I love a good as – a, as a former college defensive football player, I pay close attention to defensive defenses – and I've always loved the Bears' defense. Like, they, I don't think they've ever – from what I remember, they've never had a bad defense. And they're good. And I love Jalen Johnson. I think they're going to good, do good things. Um, so I'm. that's my wild take. I well, think that he can. But you know what? To kind of see where you're coming from a little bit, it's like – so you said he probably can do what – C.J. Stroud did for the Texans. Absolutely. His rookie year. Absolutely, because who won, saw that coming? He won a division. Who saw that coming? And he went to the playoffs. Went to the playoffs. Right. As a number two overall draft pick, who saw that coming? Right, but and, they didn't have a team like the Lions in their division, though. 
because the Lions have been trending upwards since Dan Campbell got there. They won a couple of games more than the previous year, Great point. and they kept increasing their wins. And they say yeah. no, he doing these press conferences looking like Triple H, yeah. and uh, you know doing his thing. And then look, look what happened. Yeah. Besides, they got smacked around by my Cowboys because he was trying to be cute. You can't be cute against the Cowboys. Nah, you, you can't. get your ass whooped. Nah. Um. Now nah, that's a great point. The division definitely is tougher. Yeah. Um. But. I think that Caleb Williams is more talented or gifted, I should say, right. than C.J. Stroud is. Right. Um, so I think that's a separating factor. And he showed it. Yes, it's preseason, but at the end of the day, he's a professional athlete. I mean, athlete. listen, listen, listen. <clears throat> preseason means nothing, right? It mm -hmm. means anything. But mm -hmm. it can impact your team win if one of your significant guys go down. Quarterback, we, it's a thousand examples. Michael Vick broke his leg in preseason. And yeah. it, right. We get it. It right. happens. Right. But when you see glimpses of a, uh, your quarterback or your first team go out there and put points on the board for a series or two, mm -hmm. uh, you're like, okay, it makes yeah. you feel a little bit it better. Does make so, you feel you can good. see glimpses. You know what? I can see something. That was a tough throw he made. Exactly. Okay, I like that throw. He got out that situation, rolled out the pocket, made something happen with his mm -hmm. leg. So, yeah, you can see something happen like that. So, I'll give you that. And their first game is against the Titans. So I think that's going to, at home, against the Titans, so I think that's going to be a good opportunity for him to dub. warm up. Now, week two is going to be the tell-all when they go into Houston and play C.J. Stroud. Great point. So that's going to be the tell-all of how good they're going to be. That's actually going to be a Sunday night game. So I'm looking forward to that one. Wow. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's going to be very huge. Um, all right, so to stay in the NFC North, sort of, and since you mentioned how the Green Bay Packers are a thorn in your ass, let me ask yes. you, are you buying the Green Bay Packers – AKA the Jordan Love hype? No. Why aren't you? <laughs> Listen, man. I'm and this is non-biased, right? Because he went into Jerry's world and kicked your ass in the playoffs. <laughs> he did. Yeah. And you know what? And I and it, he he won a few more tough games that year. Yeah. I mean, Green Bay, mm -hmm. uh, they took care of Kansas City and Detroit. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. But um I just think he was a one-hit wonder. I mean, to maintain that type of play, and he got that big contract over $200 mm -hmm. million. Dollars, same Richest thing. NFL player ever. Absolutely. So, listen, a lot of guys get paid in professional sports on potential, but I'm not buying the Green Bay Packers. Like mm -hmm. I said, I said, it is a competitive division. You are, you're right. It may be, one of, may be the toughest division. Mm -hmm. I'm not buying Jordan Love. He got to show me more than that. Mm -hmm. I know he got a playoff game under his belt. I get it. Hell, two ain't won no playoff games. Right. He's on one, and he yeah. got the big contract as well, $200 yeah. million. Dollars, but you have to show me more than that. Because yeah. that could have been a Buster Douglas night. Right. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, teams didn't expect it. Because right. he started out shaky. He started out cold. Right. And then all of a sudden, he warmed up and he's getting going. And teams are kind of unexpecting it. They may not have a lot of film to study him while he's in that hot streak. Right. So they don't know his tendencies yeah. and everything like that. but they got him like down because he did it last year. And then we know he sat behind Aaron Rodgers. Right. Who was more overrated than Bad Boys 4. Um, but That was a good movie, Q. Don't do that. Okay. More overrated than Equalizer 3. Okay. That's yeah, cool okay, all right. Yeah, all right. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> um, and, and yeah, so with, I, I, I agree. I don't believe the hype as well. Me neither. It's, it's, the, it's the same thing with Brock Purdy. Remember when Brock Purdy's first year before? Well, Brock Purdy's legit. Well, now, because he did it for two years. Right. Right? right. Jordan Love did it for one. Remember yeah. after Brock Purdy did it for one, we actually talked. And I told you, you was like, yo, Purdy's good. I was like, yeah. Q, I got to see him doing it in a big game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he did it. So he I, give it, I right. give it to Purdy. You gave it to him. Right. I give it to him. I haven't seen that from Love neither, so I can't give that to him. But like you said, teams now are going to know. They're going right. to study his, yeah. his, his cadences um, while him being good. They're going to study... What he does, you know what I'm saying? They're going to study all the small things. Not to mention, the Green Bay Packers have the fourth tuss, fourth toughest schedule this season. Um, and teams are going to be ready for it. If you're right. the highest paid NFL player ever and, you're, and we're playing you, oh, you're circled. I'm making it objective to either pick you off if I'm a defensive back or knock your ass out if I'm a defensive line or outside linebacker. Right. 100%. So teams are going to have him on their hit list now. Right. And then also the surrounding weapons that they that they lack of, I should say. Right. I'm not buying that neither. So I don't believe the hype um, around Jordan Love as well. He's the highest paid football player ever with four year, $220 million contract. Um, do you think he's worth a, worthy of the contract? Can that white lady from Australia really break dance? <laughs> 
hell no, he ain't worth the contract, man. No, man. Yeah. And then the thing about it is, and I got to give a shout out to my man, Jay Alexander from Charlotte. He's one of the DBs, one of the top DBs in the NFL. So mm-hmm. secondary, they, they secadary a little shaky. I hadn't lived up to what it's mm-hmm. supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Was uh, Jaya back there mm-hmm. being one of the top dogs in the field as far as uh, DBs go. For but sure. Nah, I, I'm just not buying it. Just like he's not a terrible quarterback. I just, if the sample size is too small. Yes, that was an impressive road win, first time playoff win. You're in the playoffs, right? And he, you know, and he, he sent us home. And we had a yeah. great year last year. Sent us home. So. And it came down to the wire with the 49ers as well. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. So he got something there, but let's see if he can maintain it, right? And come back, like you said, for the second year. We'll see what happens. But right now, like Jehovah's Witness at my door, I'm not buying it. <laughs> not buying it. Me neither. So me and you can agree on that. Um, would and you- it's early. It's seven o'clock in the morning. If you, maybe if y'all came back and knocked on my door around three in the afternoon, <laughs> I'll let you in. We'll talk. But it's too damn early. So Spe- go ahead. Speaking of Jehovah's Witness, since we're both movie buffs, <laughs> the movie Friday. Yeah. Trivia question for you: <laughs> Who was the first person to curse in the movie Friday? You just said it was Jehovah's Witness. The Jehovah Witness lady. It's like uh, you half dead motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> that was the first person to come to that movie. That was uh, LaWanda Page, yeah. aka Audasta. Uh huh, exactly, yeah. exactly, exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Oh, man. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. That's um, good, man. That's funny. So, speaking of that, yeah. um, let's step outside of Jordan Love and just talk about the Packers and Hole. Okay. Do you believe the Green Bay Packers are a top three team in the NFC? No. He- a lot of people have them, is it? No. A top three team. A in lot the of NFC. people have them as a top three team. Some people have them right behind either yeah, Detroit or 49ers. And not people, better than the Dallas Cowboys. Not better than my Philadelphia Eagles. That's tough. Don't do that. Cause I I just let you get yours off with the Cowboys and they just beat y'all. So technically, yes, they are better than y'all. I let you have it. What that. you mean? Uh, in the playoffs. Okay. I mean, the, the Bucks beat y'all, but the Bucks want a better team than y'all. Nah. Right. That's know. what I'm saying. Okay. The Bucks want a better team than y'all. Hey, this y'all was, is, This is why he does what he does, right. folks. The Bucks want a better team than y'all. They just was better that 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 night, you know, uh-huh. that day. And then what jinxed them. Is the after we got spanked, mm-hmm. you go on your damn live on your you post a story mm-hmm. and you start what you say belt the ass what was the thing belt you, the ass yeah belt the ass oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. well I knew that was gonna happen <laughs> I, 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 knew, I knew we were gonna lose I mean we went from ten and one to the worst drop off probably ever in you NFL knew history you was gonna lose yeah I knew we were gonna lose I didn't even want us to win we weren't you sound like you you all feel it you sound like Adrian from Rocky. You know you're going to lose. You can't win. Now you're the white lady sitting at the bottom of the steps. You can't win. You got to know you're going to win, man. I'm that realistic. was a very winnable game for you. What you mean? Yeah, it was very winnable. Right. But our, I could tell after the first quarter we were going to lose, even if we oh, won. Oh, you're saying like why the game was going on early. Yeah. Not like the of matchup. Of course, going into the game, I'm like, I hope we win. But after the first quarter, I was like, yeah, our season is done. Oh, well, yeah, okay. Our chemistry was just off, which led to us having that drop off to begin with. And I, you guys, I, we'll man, get into that. We'll get into that. Right. We'll get into that. All so right. you said, no, the Packers are not a top three team in the NFC. Oh no. So let me hear your top three teams in the NFC going into the season. Easy. Detroit, 49ers, and Dallas Cowboys. Jesus, I knew he was going to say it. I knew he was going to say it, y'all. I knew he was going to say okay, it. Okay, well, let me start with the Cowboys. Let me start with the Cowboys first. Please do. Let me start with the Cowboys first. All right. We have a, a top Five quarterback in Dak Prescott, right? Mm-hmm. Top five. I did a top 10 quarterback list, and I had Jalen Hurts number nine. ESPN didn't have him on the list at all. Yeah, I know. Right? All right. But yet, so, but yet, what? as voted by players, coaches, and what owners, the? in the top 100 NFL, Jalen Hurts was voted the number one quarterback in NFC in front of Dak Prescott. But please continue. Voted by the players, Coaches and managers. The players? His yes. friends? No. NFL players throughout the whole league. Yeah, they friends. No. It has nothing to do you with being friends. You they feel sorry for them? <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> that was not out of pity, Q. Do okay, not listen. do that. All right, Detroit, Dallas, and 49ers. Number okay. one, the um, reason I say the Cowboys, I'm going to start with the Cowboys first. Mm-hmm. Um, number one, uh, our offense is pretty damn good. We got, now you can debate whether he's one or two. Mm-hmm. CeeDee Lamb sometimes considered the best receiver in the game. Mm-hmm. 
Or it's the guy from Minnesota, Mr. Jefferson. Well, right now, last year, CD finished second in total receiving yards. Well, some, I mean, you can finish second. People still say he's the best receiver in the game. Yeah, that's that's possible. Right. But I just wanted to give credit when it's due. He finished what? second in total yards and tied for second in total touchdowns last year. Oh, man, he was amazing. Yes, and he, he torched us that both was, times. Boy, yeah, yeah, it was easy. It was easy. He, he, you know what? He actually... He played with one arm tied behind his back. It was crazy how he did that against y'all. But um, yeah, and Dak Prescott was uh, finished second in the MVP voting, thirty six touchdowns, seven picks. Let's take care of the football. We got up and coming, nice tight end in Ferguson. So well, good coaching staff, pretty damn good defense. We did this last year without Diggs. Yeah, you know, and so, I like Diggs because he's from the crib. Right, right, right. Mm -hmm. Your what? Your neighborhood. He's from Maryland. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, but anyway, yeah. And the reason I say Detroit, you can't take enough away from Detroit with Dan Campbell was done with the organization. Mm -mm. And it starts at the top. They got a good front office. Yeah. All this starts at the top. You if your front office isn't good, ask the Panthers, David Tepper, ask the the uh Washington Commanders and with Daniel Snyder, which finally got up out of here. Mm -hmm. Your front office gotta be good. And the, the best team with the front office gotta be the Steelers with the Rooney family. But um anyway, so the, the Detroit Lions they hadn't dropped off, man. They hadn't dropped off. Nah. So I think they're going to come back big and better. And also the, the 49ers are still the top dogs in the NFC. Yeah. Purdy is uh, definitely the second best quarterback in the NFL to me behind Patrick Mahomes because what he's been able to do. Now, I get sick of hearing this narrative that but he's – look who he's playing with. He's mm -hmm. in that system. Mm -hmm. First of all, folks, all teams have a system. Mm -hmm. All of them. I agree. Every team. I'm, I don't. I don't want to pluck Brock Purdy off the Forty Niners and put him on the count on the Panthers and say, "Hey, go do the same thing you did with the Niners." Mm -hmm. Stop with that. That thinking. That mindset. Mm -hmm. The guy's playing well. Mm -hmm. He's balling, and that's just what it is. Yeah. I don't care who. I don't. I'd be excited to be playing on the guys. That's that, that's the whole point. Yeah. So that's my three uh, NLC. Top three teams. Yeah, you know, I'm not going to lie. Like we said, I was tough on Purdy at first, especially after the first year. We talked about it plenty of times. I never wanted to really give him his props. I definitely give Purdy his credit now. Uh, but to say he's the second best quarterback in the NFL, I think your skull cap is on a little bit too tight for you to be saying something so crazy and outlandish like How that. How's he not? The second best Q? How's he not? Are you putting him above Josh Allen, yes. Lamar Jackson, yes. Dak Prescott yes. even? I would put Dak above uh, yeah. Brock Purdy. Yes. And I'm an Eagles fan. Uh, well, okay. Jared Goff. Yes. No, nah, that's... If you bring that damn ragged-ass Jared Goff name on Joe Burrow. Time. Oh, oh, we're going to go there. Uh, uh, we're we're, we're well, going to go Joe Burrow got to stay healthy. You put, He got to stay on the field. C.J. Stroud. Yes. This is crazy. Why? Because he went to the Super Bowl? That don't mean nothing. It does. It, <laughs> okay. But, and, but, and not just because the Super Bowl, what he did the previous year. What? He Take went, his team to the NFC Championship? Absolutely. So okay. it's two years of starting. Uh -huh. He went to the NFC Championship game. Uh -huh. The next year, he went to the damn Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. All this was being drafted the last pick in the NFL draft, and they called him Mr. Irrelevant. I don't it's care seven where rounds. Okay, I don't care where you're drafted. You're in you the don't? NFL. You are the same person that refused to give Jalen Hurts props after going to the Super Bowl and losing just like Brock Purdy did, and also being second in MVP voting, which Brock Purdy wasn't. So what's the difference? Because you didn't want to give Jalen Hurts the second best QB behind Patrick Mahomes, but you want to give it to Brock Purdy after going to the Super Bowl and losing just like we did. What's the he, difference? He's a better quarterback than Jalen Hurts. That's, you are that's, out of your that, damn mind. That's the difference. He's you a are better out quarterback of your than Jamie Hurts. Mind. And he's went deeper uh in his he has. Well, what do you mean? Because he went, what, what did Jalen Hurts do his first year? Besides what I'm doing. Went goofy to the playoffs. Ass, some goofy ass loop earrings. He's not a <laughs> I think I'm watching Paris, Pirates of the Caribbean, that big ass goofy loop earring. I don't know. I don't know. Is he a genie? What is he doing? <laughs> the first well, the first year we went, we Jalen Hurts has been to the playoffs every year as a starter. I know, but how deep did he go? Did he go to the NFC Championship game? No, first year right. we lost first round. Second year we went to the NFC Championship. Um, the year following, which was last year, that was his first year starting. Um, Brock Purdy never lost in the first round. Good for them. Well, okay, that's okay. That that adds to what I'm saying. So Trent Dilfer going to the Super Bowl. What the hell Trent Dilfer got to do with this? Exactly. So him going to the Super Bowl means he was better than any QB, any no, other QB that no. lost in the first round? No, Trent Dilfer was not a quote-unquote good quarterback. He was just, he, he was smart. He went to the Super Bowl. He played right. in the system. So did Mark Ripken. Exactly. 
So then Nick Foles, who's don't you dare say Brock Purdy is better than Nick Foles, Q. Don't you dare. <laughs> don't you what Nick you Foles? Go, see, if we if we playing space, it's called reneging. You're mm-hmm. reneging right now what you just said. How? You just gave Brock Purdy props. Mm-hmm. Now you're gonna see him tell me he's not better than something called <laughs> Nick Foles, who had one of the top three greatest post seasons as a quarterback ever. You said one, right? Yes. He, okay. But he won it. But Brock Purdy didn't win it. I know. If we're going off of how far they go in the playoffs, then no, let's go. Let's the, go to the finish line, no, which is the Super Bowl. No, that just add to it. I'm just taking. I'm adding everything. It's not just about rings and getting there, but mm-hmm. just add to it. Brock Purdy has only been starting the NFL two years, and mm-hmm. his first year went to the NFC Championship game. The second year, he went to the damn Super Bowl and almost won it. Almost don't count, right? Why does it? Why doesn't it count? Because you would never give it to me when I talk about Jalen Hurts. You would say Jalen Hurts never won a big game. I was like, we've been there. You was like, been there. Don't almost don't count. He never won a big game. What if I have a Purdy. nice makeout session with a girl and I almost get it? I can't come back and tell you. I mean, I almost, I almost got it. No. <laughs> You do that? Okay, that explains it all. That explains it all. You no, know that I said, type of dude. No, I said what? You're that no, type of dude. No. Okay, that explains it I all. I can't tell you what happened. You can. You can't say Q. Why about old girl last night? But well, that's no, not, no. You say what you say. You can Bitty, tell what, me what you say. Biddies. Yeah, whatever. What happened? You and that Biddy the other night, and I can't say yeah, man. We was making it on the couch, blah blah blah, but and, you know, but they nothing happened. I can't. Can, I'm just telling you, you what happened. You can tell me, but that's not bragging. It's a difference. As I didn't if, brag. If you were to have hit it. And you would you know it's a different energy when you hit it and you tell your I boys. I agree, I agree. Right? Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. It's a different energy when we're talking about winning the Super Bowl and going. If we're talking about I know winning, I agree with that. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. Because come on, dude. I'm a Cowboys fan. And these idiots keep talking about you guys hadn't won a Super Bowl in 30s, whatever. And I want and I say, hey, mm-hmm. I, say, I ain't even brought a Super Bowl to you. Because mm-hmm. I don't bring up the Super Bowl right. thing, because I think it's idiotic. Because mm-hmm. they clumped all our years mm-hmm. together when we was rebuilding. Mm-hmm. Like when Emmett and all them left. We didn't have the talent to win it. Yeah. We didn't have the talent to win it. Yeah. Right? But I'm just saying to, to wrap that part of it, I know we'll probably get to it later, the, the San Francisco 49ers uh-huh. Super Bowl winning drought uh-huh. is a year longer than ours. It is. Then they move the goalposts where they've been. It, now, now, which one is it? Going or winning? I don't give them props for shit. Who? 49ers. Well, I'm just saying they the always Super Bowl lose. Thing, they, all, they lose in the in the playoffs. They always lose the big game. Look, they don't set us on with two different quarterbacks with Jimmy G. Well, and y'all Brock ain't shit Perth. either. Y'all ain't shit either. La- the last time your team saw my team, what happened? We lost. We beat the hell out of and you. And then before that, what happened? We, we Jordan, won. We, we Draymond Green, Jordan Pooja. <laughs> before that, what happened? We won. We, we beat we, y'all with a backup quarterback. No, we can't turn this no, into a No, you didn't. Deal. Dak beat us, Q. I'm talking about, we, we you lost, ass. you mean, with a backup quarterback. We whooped your ass so many times, I get confused. So, okay. hold on, my man Cooper Rushton. We beat Cooper Rush. Oh, too. that's when we y'all was up and we came back. But we won. You and that goes back to the almost. Almost. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. but uh, listen, yeah. we'll, we'll, we'll get back but to yeah, this. But yeah, well, Brock Purdy's dope. He's the second best yes. quarterback in the NFL. Okay, so just quickly to answer my top three teams in the NFC. Yeah, let's go. I'm going to go San Francisco 49ers at number one. I'm going to go Philadelphia Eagles at number two. I'm going to go Chicago Bears at number three. Now, hold on. First of all, now, now. There's some shit going on here. Yeah. Now, both our teams can be top three in the NFC. Why? Now, somebody got to tell the damn truth. One of so- our teams somebody, is going to be top three. Somebody's lying here. You want to know why you're lying, Q? Because Me? You, you, I'm, I'm going to tell you why you're lying. Okay. You said Cowboys is going to be top three because of the offense. Y'all don't have your Our best offense as well. Play, but y'all don't have your best offensive player. Who? CD Lamb. The season ain't started yet. You think Jerry's going to pay him before week yes. one? Then why not just do it today? Why not get it out the way? Because that's not how Jerry Jones do business. That's not how he do business. How, well, let's hear from you. You're a Cowboys yeah. fan. What is the reason why CD hasn't been paid yet? What's going on? Jerry Jones don't do business like that. I I I I'm just, I got to take it back. I mean, Emmitt Smith set out five games, mm-hmm. but they paid him, and we won a big, big, big diamond at the end of the year. So I don't think it's going to roll over into the regular season. That's why I tell people because I'm the calmest, coolest cowboy fan you're going to meet. That's what yeah. I'm just saying. But cute, huh? the Cowboys had not paid C.D. Lamb. Hey, he's going to get his money. We got but two more weeks pl- before the season starts. Why, why play like that? Because it's a tactic that some players, as you know, some players use this tactic by sitting out. Mm-hmm. Or some of them will show up 
and not really do nothing. But it's different. He's not playing. They, but it's different when it's a top 10 player. You're talking about, according to last year, based off of numbers as far as receiving. Well, he's the best receiver in the game. We're talking about a top three NFL wide receiver. He's, Playing for it, it the richest so, yeah. sports organization in the right. world worth damn right. $10.39 billion. Right. That Dr. Evil money. You damn so, right. So wh why does that make sense to you to not pay him right now instead of waiting? Have him sitting out. Listen, as a former player, it's different when you at home, you doing the ladder drills, you catching the balls off of the jug machine, as opposed to you wearing equipment, you getting used yeah. to guys beating up on Absolutely. you and pressing you on Absolutely. the line and going through preseason and camp and practice. It's a difference. I agree with that. Then have one of your homeboys throw your footballs in the park. Yeah. I'm with you on that. Right. That's what I'm saying. I agree with you. But they're negotiating right now. They're negotiating. And he just said, he's not the first one to do this. I'm just going to sit out until I get my deal and I'll be at camp. Now, listen, some veterans, as we know, uh -huh. don't come to camp. Uh -huh. That is what they do. It's but, been the history because, of veterans. Because they're waiting for the check. No, 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 just in general. Like sometimes veterans, veterans show up to Camp Q. No one does not, it. Oh, not, no, 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 They no, may no. not participate in certain things, but they show up to Camp Q. They show up to camp. Camp is huge, Q. Not nah, just for the, nah. for the know, camaraderie, I, like for the play. They may miss a few days with Aaron Rodgers. Then he said he went to some, he went dark or something, right? That wasn't during camp. I, I, did, I guess it wasn't dark. That might have been OTAs, but saw, that wasn't during camp. He saw dating that girl from Black Panther or Whoopi Goldberg. I didn't know what went dark meant. I thought that was a little racist, but whatever. It was, I, he he saw, was doing shrooms in a cave somewhere. Oh, I thought he saw dating that girl from Black Panther. I didn't know what he was talking about. But some veterans <laughs> I, have missed camp and came at the tail end of camp because camp, as you know, is grueling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, you, you're seeing yeah. hard knocks. Yeah. Some people have went in tennis. Some camps is grueling. The weather sucks. You're sticky. Humidity. You want to get you back in football shape. Right. But some guys have missed, you know, a lot of camp and they come in late. They come in late. Listen, it's going let, to be fine. Let me fine. ask you, does this make sense or not? What? What, what Jerry Jones is doing with C.D. Lamb. Yes. It makes sense. Yeah, they're you know negotiating. What you, you, that's what you're calling this? That's what it is. You know what you sound like? Don't say it. I'm gonna tell you what you sound like. You sound like um like a hoe no. who has a pimp. <laughs> it's like, nah, he he loves me. He he only does that because he loves me. He only pimp slaps me because he loves Come me. Come on, man. That's what you sound Come like. Come on, man. This, you, for you, great, they for you to say, dude. For you to say this makes sense for the richest sports team, he, he can pay it like that. For the richest sports team to not pay the top three receiver in the NFL. Well, you been this, he's the top receiver in the NFL. No, he's not. Top three. I'm giving him top three. It's All a toss-up right. between him, Tyreek, and Justin. I'm giving him top three. You still wrong. He's number one. But you can't can't bring it out your ego mouth, can you? He didn't lead. He wasn't number one in receiving yards or touchdowns last year. Tyreek was. I'm not. And Tyreek was voted number one amongst NFL players, coaches, and uh, manage, uh, managers and you owners. You can't believe Tyreek Hill is that dope, dude. You can't believe he's he that dope. He was knocking on 2,000 yards. He was knocking on the door the of 2K. Kansas City Chiefs won the Super Bowl after his ass left. That doesn't take away from him being great. That, that just goes, adds how sure. good Andy Reid and Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey are. Come on, Q. But I'm, I'm going to just end it with this. What's that? I have always said this and I always will. What's that? And it will be as true. I'm, I'm willing to bet any amount of money on this. The Cow the Dallas Cowboys will never be successful as long as Jerry Jones is the head of office. He's y'all Achilles that heel. That may be one of the dumbest things ever come out. He's y'all Achilles heel. Because you know what? First of all, we've been successful with Jerry Jones. We're still successful yeah. with Jerry Jones. Okay. And to what degree? Regular season? Yeah, sure. You got it. Congrats. Regular season? Yeah, you are. Wow, but what you mean? We sent Tom Brady home. We got. A, we just went down to Tampa Bay and whooped Tom Brady. We sent him home. Did we not send Tom so Brady? So what prevailed to get your ass whooped the following week? That's fine, but I would rather keep getting there because one getting day- Getting where? In the postseason. And you win one game at the- When was the last time you- And I know you're used to hearing this. But if we're going to talk about getting to the postseason, let's talk about making an impact in the postseason. How you know we're not making impacts in the postseason? Because I, I haven't been to the NFC Championship since I've been born. But I still, listen, y'all got to understand something, man. When y'all keep talking about this, the NFL is hard. It's hard, it is. right? It's hard. And Pause. for you to get to these championship games and win a Super Bowl, 
Like I said, the 49ers Super Bowl winning drought is a year longer than ours. It is. They're the 49ers. It is. And they, and they, and they turning their organization around. John Lynch, former mm-hmm. player, right. doing a good job up there. Right. He put in a young coach in Shanahan. Mm-hmm. They traded for McCaffrey. They mm-hmm. doing good draft picks because yeah. it starts in the front office. Right. So Jerry Jones doing the same thing. Who drafted Michael Parsons? Jerry Jones and his sons. Michael Parsons considered the best player, defensive player in the NFL. Okay, who got Dak Prescott in there? It's too lazy. Who got Dak, Dak Prescott? Jerry Jones. Jerry Jones. Dak Prescott been in the NFL eight years, only had one losing season. Y'all had a top, y'all had the number one offense, that's what, what keep, two years ago? That's what I keep telling you, dude. That's what I keep telling yeah. you. What I'm saying is- So all on, this, they said ahead. the same thing about the Raiders. And once Al Davis dies or don't mess with the organization, I'm on the Raiders are gonna be great. They have been worse. Well, I can't speak on that because have I have not heard that before? No, I haven't. Oh, but now stop. I, I haven't. Stop it. I haven't. They said once Al Davis stopped messing with the Raiders and stopped being over the Raiders, they're going to get good. I, I, I wasn't alive then, Q. They just I'm not, said it. I'm not 67 years old like you are. I don't remember that time. I can't, <laughs> they just I'm said only, it. Before. But I'm only speaking on what I see. And what I oh. have seen is the Dallas Cowboys under the regime of Jerry Jones. And he has been nothing but an Achilles heel. Wow. wow. And he's been successful. And the on paper in the regular season, yes. I'm going off of what has been proven. What has been proven he is didn't y'all win Super Bowls? aren't shit in the postseason. Yes, he did win Super oh, Bowls. Oh, you said under the Jerry Jones regime, he been an Achilles heel. Now, he got thrown on Super Bowls in there. Now, now we're going to talk I'll, Super Bowls. I'll give y'all I'm that. I'm just making sure I'll, you... Yeah, I acknowledge that, but it's oh, been Oh, well, you didn't a, before I just corrected no, you. No, no, I did, but I'm saying it's been such a large gap. So Again, the 49ers. I'm going off of what I have seen with my eyes, Q. I have never seen y'all in an NFC championship. Yeah, y'all had it before so with Jerry Jones. So wait a minute, we talking about championship or Super Bowl winning? Both. Okay. As since I've been alive. I'm going off of what I've seen. Okay, well, since you've been alive. I many- think he's in y'all way. He's in, I That's think as soon impossible. as- I'm telling you this, as soon as his son takes over- What y'all, is he doing? Y'all are going to win the Super Bowl. That guy is he's money. He's doing everything. That's the problem. He's doing too much. That's is, the problem. I'm saying, what is he doing? He paid Dak- he paid, I mean, Dak. Well, first off, he's cheap. He paid Dak. He paid Zeke. First off, he's cheap. That's number one. I'm, na- I'm, two, I'm two, he, he used to come on the field before you was born. Mm-hmm. He used to come on, you go, he, used to, he used to come on the field. Mm-hmm. And, and like, if I'm coaching the Cowboys on Jimmy Johnson, I, he'd be like, <laughs> in for, his ear. <laughs> and why do you think Jimmy got out of there? That's in, well, yeah. I mean, for him to push Jimmy out of town, well, that was it, right? Well, there. he has the ego. Yeah, he has an ego. Yeah, and once once Jimmy left, that's when it started for y'all. Yeah, he won one with uh, Barry Switzer, but well, you once, see, that's a, you see, you can't dismiss that. You can't dismiss. No, it. I'm not. I'm giving it to y'all. No, but you, the way you're saying as, it. But for well, but yeah, he won one. Ty- but the type of if you're the type of person to push yeah. Jimmy Johnson out, that yeah. says a lot. Right. He has an ego. Okay, and that ego is holding y'all back. No, 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 no. Why is he speaking out of before and after every game, after every practice, more so than any other player or coach? Same way. That's a problem. It's not a problem. That's a problem. He's just holding a. Let me tell you something. Jerry Jones. This ain't the '60s or the '70s. Holding press conferences is not affecting the way the Cowboys play football on Sundays or Thursday night or Monday night or Saturdays on on, you know what Thanksgiving. How do you know it ain't? Cause it's not. Okay. Um. All right, well, yeah. listen. Well, I'm, I'm I'm actually getting a little nauseous talking about the Cowboys. Well, this you're losing much. this conversation. Am I? Yes. Y'all haven't done shit in 30 years. The 49ers haven't Jones. either. That, and that's 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 your piggyback. You always bring the 49ers. Yeah, they ain't they ain't shit neither. I told you they ain't shit. <laughs> I don't like the 49ers. I'm not backing them up neither. Listen, man. What's funny is when they do talk Super Bowl, people act like the Cowboys has the long, they have the longest Super Bowl winning drought in all the teams. I mean, you have no. teams that's been around for years yeah. that hadn't even went to a conference championship game, mm-hmm. right? That's right. what I'm trying to tell you. So when I bring up the um, the 49ers Super Bowl winning drought mm-hmm. is one year longer than ours because mm-hmm. we wanted Dion and they mm-hmm. won one with Dion Sanders. And I say that because the 49ers have been so good lately and right. they Colin Kaepernick and Harbaugh and now Shanahan McCaffrey. Mm-hmm. I'm like, y'all, y'all talk that shit about us, but they drought us a year longer than ours. You want me to tell you why? Y'all are held to a higher standard for three reasons. Well, one because you're quote unquote America's team. If you want to run, what's, 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 because what's, if you want to run around calling yourself America's team, but you're a loser, that doesn't correlate. Two, 
because y'all are the richest sports organization in the world at two ten point three nine right. billion dollars. Right. That says a lot. And three, because of Jerry Jones, like you said, he has an ego. So yes. if you have an owner who's the richest team, who's the richest sports organization, who's called America's team, if you're all this, you're going to be naturally held to a higher standard. Okay, y'all are all of this. Prove it. And if you're not proving it, then people are going to shit on y'all quicker. How many Super Bowls we got to win to prove it? One. We, we got to win every we're, at, year. we're telling y'all to win one. Tell That's them, it. Tell the 49ers to win one. Q, we are talking about the Dallas Cowboys. Okay, I I'm, just said the Niners aren't held to a, as high of listen. a standard as y'all are. And we're telling y'all to win one. The 49ers, if, they haven't been held to as high of a standard since Jerry Rice has been there. Okay, Y'all, to this day, since Jerry Dreis days to this day, y'all have been called America's team. Y'all have had Jerry Jones' egotistical ass, and y'all have been the richest sports organization in the world. Yes. Because of those reasons, y'all, we're telling y'all, prove it, but y'all haven't done that. 49ers, they're not making as much noise as y'all because they're not America's team. They're not the richest, and they don't have an egotistical owner like y'all do. Like y'all do. That's the reason why. The America's team moniker can't go nowhere. Whether we win one game or zero games, that's that's just our nickname. It's just mm -hmm. a nickname. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. Right. That's a nickname. So that right. can't go nowhere. Okay. So well, you, you look quotation marks when you're saying it. It, it can't go nowhere. Okay. What's y'all nickname? Right. Birds. The what? Birds. Um, <laughs> You know, how many, you know how many birds are in the NFL, stupid. and we're the we're, we're the we're the like known. A, sound like a damn Alfred Hitchcock movie, The Birds. What uh, <laughs> the birds? Yes, go birds! Like you know how many birds are in the NFL, and for us to hold the number one spot for birds, that, that sound like a damn Pop Warner. I mean, you should be embarrassed. <laughs> the birds, man, please. Okay, let's do this. Yeah. Meanwhile, y'all are the Cowboys, and we're living in a world where Brokeback Mountain is all over the place. But okay, <laughs> let's do this. Um, let's do a win-loss season prediction, starting with your Dallas Cowboys. I'm going to go through the season. I'm going to go through each team, and you're going to tell me win or loss. All, all right, right, let's go, man. Uh, at Cleveland Browns. We're going to beat the hell out of them. Beat the hell out of the Cleveland Browns in Cleveland? Okay. Why is that a tough game? But Drew Carey go play? Why is that a tough – Steve Harvey go play? <laughs> why, why, why is that a tough game? Because Cleveland – I mean, they were just in the playoffs, Q. We're acting like it's – We was too. And they're bringing – On paper, we're a better football team than the Cleveland Browns. Mm -hmm. They have a better receiver than us? No. They have a better quarterback Without than us? Without CD, this yes. This shit is too easy. You don't have CD. So what right now, mean? yes. We don't have, he's still on the roster. We'll see if he plays why, week one. It's not guaranteed, Why Q. are you so – It's not guaranteed he's going to play week one. Didn't you say Emmitt went five games sitting out? That was 90 years ago. I just brought up an example of a player I okay. uh, held out. All right. So, we so, only got – go ahead. We only got four tough games on our schedule. Okay, so at Cleveland win. Okay, home versus New Orleans Saints. We're going to do – to the Saints. Nah, I can't, I can't say that. That'd, that'd be horrible. We're gonna beat oh, the hell out. Jesus. We're gonna beat the hell out of my. We're gonna beat the hell out of Master P now. Go yeah, Birds. We're gonna make him say ah, uh, uh, whatever he said. We're gonna okay. beat the hell out. Fiend, I like Fiend, Fiend Garando, but we're gonna beat the hell out of Master P now. Shout out Magnolia Project. Absolutely. I, I actually stayed in an Airbnb right next to Magnolia Project. They gentrified it. Oh, they did? Yeah, it turned into like college housing. That's crazy. You about yeah. melted down there too. Yeah. Oh, man, it was so yeah, hot. 10 in the morning, I'm stepping off the plane. It's like 98 <laughs> degrees. At 10 in the morning, straight humidity. <sighs> yeah, New Orleans, New Louisiana heat in general is different. Okay. All right. Home versus the Baltimore Ravens. We'll barely lose that game on a last second field goal. Okay, so two and one. At the New York Giants. Uh, we're going to beat them like they stole some. Three and one. At the Pittsburgh Steelers. Come on, man. We're going to smack them around. 4-1. <laughs> Home versus the Detroit Lions. We're going to beat them like we beat them last year. Now, see. What's we, wrong with that? Over, this is the delusional shit I be talking about. Because I'm saying we're going to win. Wait a minute. Why is it delusional? <laughs> Because you're 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 contradicting yourself, Q. How? I asked you the top three teams in yes. the NFC. You had Detroit at number two. All right. But yet you're saying you're gonna beat them like they stole something? What? This because they're number two, we can't beat them like they stole something? Correct. Did you not just see the um national championship game when Georgia beat something called TCU by like 80 points? They were expected to win. By 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 
six touchdowns? No, they wasn't. I think like three, maybe I'm like nineteen. I'm just saying, points. it's just because we're ranked high. I don't mean you can't get your ass whooped. So we're gonna beat the hell out of what? The Detroit Lions. Detroit Lions. Yeah. Okay, so well, you have Axel Foley, their quarterback. We're gonna spank them. So you have going. Who's better than Dak Prescott? So you have going into the season, y'all being one, two, three, four, five, and one going into going into the bye week, week seven bye week. The, yeah, we're a good football team, man. Okay. You know, we la our last three years we won 12, 12, 12, right? We're a good football team. We're a good football team. I'm I'm, I'm not going down this rabbit hole again. Well, hashtag are. facts only. Yeah, regular season, y'all are amazing. Okay, you're yeah. going five and one. Okay, right. week eight at San Francisco 49ers. We'll probably lose that one on uh, um safety. We'll lose that one. Probably yeah. a safety. Yeah, y'all are getting your ass whipped by them per usual. I mean, I said we're gonna lose to them, so I mean you could. Throw your little sauce in there. Five and two. Okay, at the Atlanta Falcons. <laughs> Come on, man. We're gonna go down there and do the eight town stomp on them <laughs> dirty birds. That now Atlanta is more overrated than <laughs> Bad Boys Two. Okay, so so, <laughs> so 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 wait, 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 wait. Hold on. <laughs> Did you just call Bad Boys Two overrated? That was the best one. That may be the worst move I've ever seen. Are you serious? And because I didn't like how reason. I didn't, I didn't like how Martin was like Wu Song to the Wu Song. He, he was like he was like um, Wu Song to the whole movie. He had that fake Michael Vick jersey on, and he was super protective over his uh, sister, who was a damn detective in her thirties, and she had a gun. And she could shoot. Why are you so over? I just thought it was bad. I just thought it was bad, man. I, that's crazy. I think Bad Boys 2 was the best better one. Better than the first one? Two, one, four, three. Better than the first. Now, listen, it's some good second movies. Right. Right? I think Rocky Indiana two. Jones, Temple of Doom is mm -hmm. a good second movie. Raiders mm -hmm. of the Lost Ark is there. Mm -hmm. Like you said, what, Rocky Rocky 2. two. Right. Terminator 2 mm -hmm. was a good yeah. second movie. The first right. one was a classic. So... Right. But I, I just could not get what Bad Boys 2, man. I couldn't wow. get what. Oh, it was so stupid. Wow. Yeah. that's You're the first person I've ever heard this. You want to know my favorite part of Bad Boys 2? I saw the movie when I was like six or seven years old, mind you. Damn. Yeah. Maybe eight. I saw it in theaters. I shouldn't have been there, but it was lit. My favorite part of Bad Boys 2 was when they were looking over the tape in the video store and like how it went on all the TVs and um, the chick was getting hit in the car. I don't remember it. I do. Yeah. Well, you eight. Yeah. I mean, yeah, you was, was a horny eight. eight year old. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. I was like, now, I watched it. back to school when I was like eight. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um. So, back to the schedule. So, okay. So, six and two after taking care of Atlanta at Atlanta. Yes. Let me ask you this. What's up? Do you agree with the Falcons sending out Michael Penix throughout the rest of the preseason after just one game? Yeah. 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 People put too much because it's like people got to realize that. No matter how people look in mm -hmm. preseason, it does you know it just don't mean anything. You just want everybody to get through healthy, but it, it don't mean nothing. Gotcha. It don't mean nothing. But I had no problem with that. Okay, so all right, six and two after yes. the Falcons. Okay, week ten home versus the Philadelphia Eagles. Um, let me see. We're gonna beat y'all. Y'all gonna look like how Rocky look after every movie. You know how Rocky looked like every movie when he, yeah. he couldn't see and he had to get yeah. cut me yeah. and all yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all gonna, he was scre screaming for Adrian and he couldn't Adrian. see. Yeah, y'all gonna like see. Rocky after every movie. So, yeah. But we, right. we have a history of kicking y'all ass. That's what I'm saying. We Overall, we got a better re winning record against you. But for this purpose of this conversation, we winning that game. Okay, seven and two. Home versus the Houston Texans. Oh man, Texas are stacked too. I like their young coach, the coordinator. He's coaching now. They got Diggs. They got Collins. Something called C.J. Stroud. Uh, they got. <sighs> we'll probably lose that one. Okay, barely on a um, last second hail mary. All right, fair. So seven and three. All right, week twelve. Um, oh, yes, I seven and three or eight and three. Yeah, seven and three because of the bye week. Week twelve at the Washington. What are they? Football team commanders? What are they now? Well, they're gonna be our bitch. Generals. <laughs> they're gonna be our bitch. So call them that. The Washington bitches. Yeah, we got them. <laughs> All right, cool. So eight and three. There um, you go. Home versus New York Giants. 
<laughs> Come on, man. We're going to do, where that game at? Home. Oh, okay. In Dallas. Oh, okay. Jerry's World. That's what we call it. Yeah. Uh, if that's what you want to call what it. What y'all call y'all stadium? The Link. Lincoln Financial that's Field. Stupid. The Link. <laughs> that's stupid. That's stupid. <laughs> it's called The Link. It's lit. What are we talking about? We have an outdoor stadium. That's becoming extinct in the NFL. And it's in Philly where it's cold. It's lit. That's stupid, man. Anyway, yeah, we're going to handle business. So okay. what are we now? So what is that, 9-3 and three or 9-4? Nine 9-3. Yeah, and four? Nine and three. Okay, so 9-3. and three. Okay. Home versus the Cincinnati Bengals. Monday night. We're winning that one. You're winning it? Yeah, I mean, first of all, we don't know if Joe Burrow will be on the field. Because he's very Did they beat y'all with a backup last time y'all played? Well, I have no recollection. Sure you don't. But we we win in that game. No one's listen. Cincinnati. I know. I'm. I know Joe Burrow came and he pumped life back into there. And then so for some reason, Icky Woods was doing a damn shuffle. <laughs> he looked like he was in his third trimester. I say, damn, Icky, did you? What you been doing since retirement? Eating? He just been eating. That's all he been doing is eating, 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 eating. And he's still doing an Icky shuffle and all this shit was moving and it was. <laughs> It was I, th- I thought it was in labor. It looked like he's gonna go out there. <laughs> <laughs> so and and I appreciate that. I get it. I get it. But man, no one's scared of Cincinnati. They're actually kind of going backwards now. Because mm, yeah. their quarterback can't stay healthy. So yeah, we definitely gonna um we're gonna Jake the Snake DDT them. Okay. So 10 and 3. Yes. All right. Um week 15 at the Carolina Panthers. <laughs> we're gonna do to the Panthers what um Michael Vick did to them pit bulls. Q. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're going to do. Now, this is technically an unfiltered show. Like, I'm not censored or anything, but come on, Q. I just said that's what we're going to do to him. Oh yeah. God. So that's going to be easy money. Easy mojo to narrow. I'm going to just leave that alone. Michael Vick's my favorite football player of all yeah, time. Yeah, Michael Vick's dope. I'm going to yeah. just leave that alone. Okay. Let's go. So 11 and 3. Yeah. Uh, versus why, why, why are you getting up? Just, I don't want to say you're getting mad because ain't people saying you're getting mad. What's going on with you? I'm, you? You're giving me schedule teams. I'm just telling you what's going on. Are, are we going to do this with the Eagles? Let, let's just, yeah, we are. Let's okay. just get through it. Okay, right. we're 11 and 3. Okay, uh, home versus the Tampa Bay Bucks. Baker Mayfield's my guy. I like Baker, but uh, the Bucks, we, we, we got a history that's beating them. Where the game at? Home, Sunday night. Jerry's world. Damn, we got, you know, we have the most national televised games again. That's what cool. I tell you, that's awesome. And that's go, and that goes to the standards of y'all being so high again. Okay, so 12 and 3. Well, stop picking us to win the Super Bowl then. Stop picking us. We're not picking y'all. We're saying so why would show you? us something. We are. Prove us wrong. Well, only one team can win the Super Bowl. Only exactly. one can win it. So why not be that one? It's tough. We think, we, we know we're winning it this year. Why don't y'all go into the season like that? We do. But then y'all bring up this. Y'all are delusional. Yeah, see? All right. So, okay. So, we're at. We beat the Bucks. So, we're at 13, uh, 12 and 3. Right. Okay. Week 17 at Philadelphia. We're going to sweep y'all this year. Okay. 13 and 3. Um, And then to close out the season home against the Washington football team, Commander. People. Another win. Okay, so you have y'all finishing 14 and 3. Right. All right. And you don't see that as delusional, unreasonable, any of the above? Let me tell you why. Because, like I said, um, I, when, you, when, you, when we're doing sports talk, sometimes you got to go back a little history and pull some things up. And not too far back. I'm just saying the way we've been playing the last few years, we had 12 wins, 12 wins, 12 wins. Now I'm saying we're going to win how many? 14. Just two more extra wins in the regular season isn't crazy. And if I'm sitting here as a Panther fan who went 2-15 and 15 last year, mm-hmm. then I'm going to say, well, huh, we won two wins, we're going on the schedule, and I got to win in 10 games. I need to get drug. I need to pee in the cup and get drug tested. All right. So that's not that far-fetched as you say it is. Mm-hmm. For, I'm from winning two games to 10. I'm mm-hmm. just saying we won 12 last year. Mm-hmm. I think we can win two more in the regular season this year. Mm-hmm. That's not crazy. Now, I know you're feeling a certain way yeah, because I said we're going to sweep your Eagles. I mean, we beat y'all three times in one year when you had Michael Vick and Donovan McNabb. We swept you in the playoffs, I mean, in the regular season, and we kicked your ass in the playoffs. To what prevail? 
We which, sent you. We sent you home. Which is to what we this sent you all home. circles back to. to you keep saying prevail. prevail. Like what? Uh, we sent you home. Okay. Yeah. How did it go the following week for y'all? I have to look it up. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I can tell you, and I don't even know what happened, but I can literally tell you it's what happened. It's hard to win y'all Super Bowls, lost. man. <laughs> It's hard to win Super Bowls, man. Can we get to my Eagles, please? Yeah, let's go, man. I've, I'm done talking about your Cowboys. I've never spent this much time talking about the Feel Cowboys. Good, like the, I'm nause, it's, it's nauseating. <laughs> All right, so Philadelphia Eagles season win loss record let's prediction. Go. All right, week one, Green Bay Packers in Brazil win. We're gonna cover the spread. Wait a minute, what's the spread? One and a half. Y'all go beat Jordan Love. Yeah. Those y'all Jordan Love, one of your top three teams in the NFC? No, they weren't. Oh, okay. Um, I had Chicago above them. So one and all, okay. Week two, home versus Atlanta, Monday night at the link. That's it, I feel bad for Atlanta. We're gonna do them dirty. Wait a minute, dirty wait birds. a minute, wait a minute. Hmm. Your football team is a mess. No, we're not. We're a mess? Yes. How Internally, so? externally. You want your coach fired? No. The outside. See, as far as this whole mess you know, perception you, with the Eagles. So you have from heard the outside. it. So you have heard it. Yes. Oh, it's okay. coming from the outside, and it's coming from Philadelphia sports reporters. That's where it comes from. And national as well. If you talk about, if you ask the team, no, we're good. And our offense is Nobody's clicking. Nobody's going to throw nobody under the bus like that. Stop our, it, man. Listen, Kellen Moore, he's going to take us to the promised land. I'm trying to tell Your you. Your last so, coordinator supposed I, to took you. No, we never said that. That was his first. He was unproven. Brian Johnson was un, Both coordinators were unproven. We never said that. Kellen Moore is proven. Y'all best. You when y'all were the number one offense, it was because of Kellen Moore. He was y'all OC. No, was it? No, it wasn't. We was number one offense a few weeks last year when, uh, when McCarthy started I'm taking I'm not talking about a few weeks. I'm talking about the season. At the, and we at kicked Kellen Moore's season. ass when we saw him when we played the Chargers. My thing is with you and your Eagles, I'm telling you guys are a mess. Mm -hmm. You're a mess of an organization right now. Half, a lot of your fans, I ain't going to mm -hmm. lump everybody together. Mm -hmm. You have this crazy thought to fire Sirianni. The man in three years has won 34 games for you. 34, mm -hmm. that's a lot. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of games to mm -hmm. win in three years. Each year, he's went to the playoffs, mm -hmm. and one of the three years, he went to the damn Super Bowl, and you want to fire him. Some fans want Nick Siri Sirianni fired. Right, that's not, not insane all. to you. That's what I, I said. That's not insane to you? That is, for them to think that. You got to understand, this Philadelphia Eagles fan base, we have some logical fans, and we have some... Toxic fans. Everybody has that. But nonetheless, we have all passionate fans. You are not going to take that from us. Don't, don't, don't throw passion in there. Yes. To, to all of our fans are passionate. Your idiotic behavior that comes out your damn idiotic eagle mouth. It, you it, want your coach fired? Who three years been going to the playoffs? One in three years, he went to the Super Bowl. In the three years, he's won a total of thirty-four games. You know well, what I mean? Look, well, look at how we moved. We fired Doug Peterson after winning the Super Bowl. That's crazy. I know, and that's what I'm telling you. Like it's not it's, so for them to see that. Now moving forward, they're going to think that's annoying. Now I see why y'all ain't got five Super Bowls. I see why you ain't got five of them. I see why. We have one within the five years. We, we have one within five years. You do. If that's what we're talking about. I agree about. with you. You do. We both right. Yeah. We both right. Okay. Can I get back to my list, please? And then Jalen Hurts isn't what he was. Jalen Hurts had a... Oh, he's won an MVP this year. He had 15 interceptions last year. 20 turnovers. We, oh, he's that's, won... That's terrible. Oh, he's winning an MVP He's going to turn year. around just like that? Yep. Just like he did his MVP or his uh, MVP runner-up year. The year before, he wasn't top five, not even top 10. Jalen Hurts plays football like Bronny James plays basketball. Like I said, he's winning MVP this year. He's going on. Uh, wait a minute. Kellen Moore is going to have that boy shining. Jalen Hurts is winning the MVP this year? Yes. Book it. And you call Cowboys fans? What, what you call us? Delusional. Oh, okay. Book it. All right. Play this back. This okay. is before the season even started, folks. Okay. Play this back. Can I get back to my list, please? You got some white stuff like right on your nose right there. <laughs> I don't know what you've been doing to say something like that. Nah. I haven't, uh, haven't party like that since Vegas. All right, cool. So... <laughs> Taking care of Green Bay and Atlanta, so 2-0. Oh. We're at New Orleans Saints. I'm going to give that a win. Might still end up going to that game. I have a ticket. So 3-0? 3-0, oh. oh, yes. Okay. At Tampa Bay is going to be a dog fight, but I have us coming out on top and going into the bye week 4-0. Oh. All right. Bur I don't know how you're going to beat the Bucks. Last time we beat them, well, last time in the regular season we beat them in Tampa Bay. I was at that game. It was lit. 
I don't think I don't think Jalen Hurts is cracked up what it used to be, and mm-hmm. I think he got exposed last year. Mm-hmm. I don't know if he's going to be able to recover. Mm-hmm. I got you guys winning by eight games, but go ahead. No, our offensive play calling got exposed last year. What your running back do last year? I mean, y'all just bad. You, we you didn't come, feed our running back last year. That's my point exactly. You collapsed. Yeah, we did. Right. I mentioned that. All right. I'm not disagreeing. All right, so we're going into the bye week 4-0. Um, home against the Cleveland Browns. We're coming out of the bye week. We're feeling good. You know what? Give us an L on that one. I think we may be a little bit complacent. Either the either the Browns or the Bucks. Give us an L on that one. So we're going into week seven, five and one. So wait a minute. You're not you're not being, you're not being four honorable. One. I'm sorry. You're not four being and honorable. Four and one. You either one lose to this one. Are yeah. you gonna lose? Are you Lo- lose against the Cleveland Browns? Four and one. Okay. The Browns go beat you. Four and one. All right. So, um. At New at New York Giants, we're gonna win at the Cincinnati Bengals. So wait a minute. Sense. You're gonna. Lose to the Browns, mm-hmm. then turn around and beat the Giants. But you're going to beat the Giants. And oh, the Giants yeah. are a better team than the Browns. No, they're not, Q. Were Giants the in the Browns playoffs last year? The Browns don't have a quarterback. Yes, they do. Deshaun they, Watson is back. Flacco took them to the playoffs last year. Okay, but Deshaun Watson is coming back. Can he at least Can he at least show us Show us if he's worthy or not? He tried it two years ago. Exactly. And he stunk up the bed, but that right. doesn't mean his career is over. He's still on a contract. The contract that screwed it up for the rest of the league. I, I, I don't know how many more years this guy gonna need to. It's gone. You can say the same about Dak. He hasn't done no, shit in the playoffs. No, no, no. How Dak, many years does Dak need Dak in the playoffs? In Dak, the playoffs. In the playoffs. Dak hasn't fell off. Deshaun Watson had a promise and he fell off. He fell the hell off. Okay. Right. So what I'm so saying is, so got nothing to do with Dak Prescott. But, but we seen, we seen the prime that for was Deshaun. Go, now it's going. That's that was almost four years ago. Right. It's doable. Wow. It's doable. Didn't Tom Brady be great for 20 plus years? Like it's doable. He did. Yeah. But it, but he maintained a greatness though. Mm-hmm. You yeah. gotta maintain it. Yeah. Deshaun Watson ain't maintained nothing but one year almost four years ago. But go ahead. We'll see. All right, so five and one. They disagree with you on the chat too. I don't believe so. Man, please. <laughs> Real heat right here. My man Kev. What up, Kev? That's Kev at the Y. Kev over. All right. So five and one. Um Okay, so at Cincinnati, give us that win. Six and one. Home versus Jacksonville. That's Kelly Green Day. We're going Y'all gonna beat the Bengals. Bengals, yeah. <laughs> um Y'all Kel- are six and one. Yeah. We're gonna home against the Jacksonville Jaguars Sunday night. Kelly Green. I'm going to that game. Win. Give us seven and one. What the hell is Kelly Green? That's that's this right here. I've heard of Kelly Clarkson. I've heard of Kelly Price. I've heard of uh uh R. Kelly. Kelly Green, I've never heard of. What the hell is Kelly Green? What's that? This right here. It's what, a, a helmet? It's, it's a colorway, Q. Oh, that's what it's called? Kelly Green? Kelly Green. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that's stupid. I've heard of Kevin Green. It's a color. How's it's a color? How's it stupid? I just uh, well, hey, that's your eagle stuff. I get it. Whatever. It's a Kelly color. Green? Kelly Green. Right. No, you cannot. Our, our Kelly Green throwback uniforms are the coldest in the league. As far as throwback unis, they only, better than the, the the Chargers powder blue uniforms. Yes, that, wow! Because they made the powder their regular uniforms, like their regular alternate. Okay, yeah. We can only wear these twice a year. I put these up there with the Seahawks throwbacks. I like the Seahawks with the silver and the and the, with the blue jersey and the silver. You know, the Steve Largent days. That might be a little bit before your time, but <laughs> I, I like I like those top two throwbacks as the the top throwbacks in the league. Aye. aye, aye. All right, so what are we? Seven and one. God, seven and one. Yeah, seven and one. Okay, <laughs> at Dallas, L. So that's seven and two. Home versus the Washingtons, we're gonna win. So that's eight and two. At the Los Angeles Rams, give me a loss Sunday night. That's eight and three. At the Baltimore Ravens, I will be at. That's a win. We've never lost a game I've been to. That's Dude, nine. So come on, man. Come that's on, nine man. That's and three. You're not beating the Ravens. Yeah, we are. That's nine and three. How are you going to beat the Ravens? That's going to be the Super Bowl matchup, possibly. All right, so we're nine and three. It's going to be a dog fight, but we're going to win nine (laughs) and three because I'm going to be at that game. We have never lost a game I've been to. What are you, nine years old? These damn silly ass Sesame Street (laughs) uh, uh, superstitions? Nine and three. We've never lost a game I've been to. Versus the Carolina Panthers at home win. That's 10 and three. Y'all going to beat the Panthers. 
Are you serious right now? <laughs> you just said y'all gonna walk. It. You said you're gonna walk through the Ravens. Yes, and then beat the Panthers. Yes, at Philly. Absolutely. Ten and three. Derrick Henry gonna be playing, right? Yes. Okay. Y'all can stop the run this year? Yes. Okay. Well, you know we got Devin White, right? Never heard of him. Stop it. Never heard of him. I heard of heard of Vanna White. I've heard of uh, White Plains, New York. Q, please stop it. I've heard of... Uh, he fell off last season, but Devin White is an all-pro line. I've heard of Q. Jason uh, Williams' nickname in the NBA, White, White Chocolate. Chocolate. But Devin White, something called Devin White, I've never heard of. You just, oh said, he, you just said he fell off last year. Yes, that's one season. So you're saying if you, you have you, one... You, so you're you're, you're you saying the, if you have one bad season, you can't bounce back? You are the king of these... He hadn't, he hadn't played in years, and he's going to come back all no, of a sudden. No, I just admitted he fell off last season. Probably, I'm not making any excuses. He said something. I said Deshaun Watson's done as far as coming back being one of the top-tier quarterbacks in the NFL. Let he's him like, prove it. He, he's still he under contract. He's under 30 years old. Let him prove it. You can suck under 30 years old. Pause. Cam, let's see, I, I told <laughs> him. I'm <laughs> I'm about to get the hell up out of here. I told you I'm an adult. I don't do this damn pause shit. I'm about to get up out of here, man. You can't talk sports to this Paul stuff. That was insane, though. So what is it? Break it down. So what does Paul's mean? So because I said he sucked, that mean I want to be with a man? Because I didn't say Paul's? What the hell does it even mean? It just means... Because I, I don't see white people do it, but go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. Let's keep uplifting each other. What the hell does Paul's mean? So because I didn't say Paul's when I said he sucked last year, that mean I want to be with a man? No, that's not all you said. It was the whole sentence. All the sports is like that. Hey, I, man. I, no. I know. That was just... A, I, and I've let you slide because it's been a few today. So, but, so what does it mean when I don't say Paul's? That just means, yo, chill. That was crazy. That's all it means. It just means that was really crazy. And you saying pause, just saying I acknowledge that was crazy. You never heard of sports that people say somebody sucks? Yes, I have. But you were saying pause back Your in. sentence was insane. You never I heard don't know exactly say, what you, you never said. heard nobody scream and say he look, sucks. The chat, look what the chat what, says. They're not pause. adults. They're not adults. Pause. That's my bro. He's an adult. He's, what, he's, he's not an adult. I'm a damn adult. I don't say pause. He's 20, 29, 28, yeah, 29, yeah, 29 yeah, he, years old. He, he said still pause. watch I Carly. I ain't got time for him. But let me tell you something. So you don't pe pe you suck. You don't hear people screaming that? Yes, so I what, hear it. Right. I'm not, you can say you suck, but your sentence was outlandish. I said he sucked last year. No, that's not all you said. I don't I have to run it back. It was something about you can be under 30 and suck. You can't. Well, yeah, suck. you can be under you know, 30 you can, suck. you can still suck under 30. You it, can. It was, uh, that's crazy. Cam Newton sucked when he was under 30. I'm just saying that was crazy. That's all. But can I get back you to the list? You can't even tell me what the pause mean. I, didn't, I, I just told you what it means. You it's said just, it means it, it, chill. It means you're acknowledging. It means I'm acknowledging that I said some something that was very wild. I'm just, I'm just talking sports. That's all it is. That's all it is. Do with, uh, wanting to be with a man. Yes, it does. It also says you're <laughs> so not So I want to be with a man because I'm, I'm saying somebody suck or somebody, he got in his ass last it's just, night. It's just reassuring that you don't. Who who has to validate that? See that? See, see what black people do? Y'all <laughs> something, man. I'm finna, get, I'm finna join another damn race. That's what can, I'm can about I to do. Can I get back to my list, Yeah, because I'm about to join the race. Let me get back to my list. I said lose. <laughs> okay, so after you the said Panthers. You some wild stuff, man. So okay. we took what? Two L's? No, one, two. We took three losses. So what's that? Uh, 10 and three. Okay, we're 10 and three. All right, boom. Week 15 against the Steelers win. Okay. We're going to win the rest of the way out. So that's that one, two, three. That's four. So that's, uh, what, 14 and three? 14 and three. So you copied me. Oh, you said 14 and 3 too? Okay. Well, listen, we're both rivals. We're both in the NFC East. One of us has to be right. Well, it's, first of all, we, we, won, know we who, won our division last year. And we won the, the year before. No, if no, we're no, gonna no, do no, that. no. What have you, Jody Watley said, what have you done for me? Like, we won our division last year. When was the last time we went back to back? Nobody in the NFC East has gone back to back all in over 20 years. All I know is the last time we played, John. We whooped you, and then we won our division last year. Hashtag facts only. That's and all then, I'm saying. But, but we went one and one last year. I'm so confused as to why you're holding on to this. I'm not we holding on whooped y'all ass I'm last just year. Saying last time we played, we, we beat the hell out of you. And we won against y'all. That's one and one. There was no tiebreaker. There was no tiebreaker. But why are you holding on to that? What, is somehow what happened last year? I'm just talking about a game. And me too. So am I. I'm talking about a game too. We finished one and one. Now what? Okay. What, what's the separating factor? Most recent. That's the separating factor yes. for you. And we want to. And we, we right now we're on the top of our division. 
in the NFC East. Is mm-hmm. that true? Technically, yes. Uh, technically, yes. <laughs> Do because I y'all say- won it. Because y'all won it last year. Yes. I give it. I, I'm giving that to you. I'm giving that to you. What do you What do you want? That's not a pause. You're giving it to me. You see <laughs> that, how, that was good. I'm saying, but you see how dumb that well, is. See, but see, I'm holding <laughs> back because it's you. You're holding back. That's another one. I'm holding back because it's you. It's stupid. It's oh, not. you're not an adult. <laughs> I am an adult. <laughs> Hey, hey, listen, I ain't, I ain't make it up. Blame Jay Z. Jay Z was well in his thirties nah, when he Mason said Paul. Kim, my boys, man, you know they from the era, but whatever. But, but, whatever, Jay, whatever. but Jay Z, I think from what I know, is a, he's been saying Paul. It's stupid, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, I ain't make it up. So yeah, fourteen and three. One of us is going to go fourteen and three, and the other one is going to look crazy and delusional. And I think it should just be who's. You say y'all gonna beat the Ravens? That's not delusional. Mm-mm. All right. Nope. Okay. Sure ain't. Show ain't go birds, yes sir. Go birds, go go. Fifteen interceptions, Jalen Hurts. Go birds. That was last year. Let's talk this year. Man. We're going, bro. Kellen Moore again. Thank y'all. Yeah, Kellen Moore is going to turn us up and continue to want to fire your coach who been doing great things the last since he's been there. But let's fire him. He's, st- he's still there, ain't he? We ain't fire him. Those no, are no, yeah. those are. I just said those are toxic fans. Do you want to fire? No, I've never said I wanted I'm, to fire. I'm asking. Sir. Okay, I never wanted to fire Dougie P. Okay, all right. That's I just want to know what your mind said. I just want to know what your mind said. The fact that we fired out Dougie P is crazy to me. All right. All right. So, Come on. Uh, all right. So, we're, it's time for our next segment of the show called HOF or FOH. So, pretty much, I'm going to name a player and we're going to decide whether he's worthy of the Hall of Fame or FOH. F out of here. Okay. All right. So, for this week's HOF or FOH, should Eli Manning be inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame? <sighs> You said H O, H O F as in Hall of Fame or F O H as in F out of here. H O F, H O F, easily Hall of Fame. Easily, uh, was was a consistent top ten quarterback, primarily his whole career. Two Super Bowls, mm, both okay. Super Bowls against the New England Pages. He beat mm-hmm. Tom Brady twice. Mm-hmm. Eight and four record in the postseason. Mm-hmm. Um. Top 10 and or number 10 exactly in all-time passing yards leader. Yeah, so that, that's that's an easy one. That's an easy one. I mean, I know he's a Manning, but he's definitely Hall of Fame worthy. Um, may not be first ballot, but his last name may put him in first ballot, but I definitely think Eli's, he's definitely, yeah, he's, I'm going HOF. I like that, HOF. Uh, so let me ask you: If he were to have lost those two games, those two Super Bowls against Brady, would you still put him in the Hall of Fame? Uh, fuck out of here! Fuck out of here! Yeah. Okay. So the Super Bowls hold hold a lot of weight, especially being that he beat Tom Brady. He beat Tom Brady. I right. hold a lot of weight, man. Okay. Like I say, his playoff uh, records it was eight and four. That's mm-hmm. crazy. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Throw for a lot of yards. Had some nice little receivers on his on his squad. Like I say, primarily top ten. And yet, listen, long as you long as you're in the top ten when it comes to quarterback, and mm-hmm. you're a pretty good quarterback. You don't have to be number one, number two, number three. You're talking you, all time or among in that. Season, oh no, no, not all time. That I'm saying why he was playing consistently he, that season. Yeah, is what you're saying okay. No, no, consistently doing his career. You know, yeah, career. Or consistent seasons or consecutive. Yeah. There we go. So consecutive seasons. Yeah, once he got it going. Yeah, Eli was one of them top ten QBs. He's probably closer to like seven, eight, nine. But man, once you're in that top ten, mm-hmm. I would want whatever team I cheer for, chat and mm-hmm. everybody watching. Mm-hmm. You want your quarterback in that top ten. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, I, I got him on uh, HOF. Okay. Um. So real quick to the chat. Okay, we got Markel saying that Eli is HOF. We got yeah. Uh, we got Lionel saying fuck out of here. F O H. He wouldn't last in today's game. Then we have another delusional ass Cowboys fan talking about some Cowboys Nation and Eagles are buns for real. Um, okay. Well, well, why wouldn't Eli just? Why wouldn't he last in today's? What's the difference between when he played and now? I'm not sure. Uh, Lionel, that's a question for you. Hey, Lionel Richie, that's not. That's not. <laughs> that's not a good comment, my G. That's not a good comment. Of course, uh, he would last. Let, in let him explain himself. It might be a good one. Elaborate, Lionel, as to why you think he wouldn't last in today's uh, game. Right. So, okay. Before I get to what I want to get to, yes. Um, Philip Rivers, right. HOF or FOH. That's a good one. Who was uh, terrible I, in the playoffs? Nah, nah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go H O F. I'm gonna go H O F because okay. 
He never, of course, we know he never won, mm -hmm. put up a lot. See, he'll get in. Phillip will get in because he put up a lot of yards, mm -hmm. a lot of yards. Yeah. And, I mean, he had LaDainian back there. He made Antonio Gates. I guess Antonio Gates should be a Hall of Famer. He has some frisbee catching dogs on the receiver side. Mm -hmm. And um, he just didn't really know how to write coach, and he just couldn't get over that hump in that playoffs. But, nah, Phillip Rivers put up a lot of numbers, a lot of big numbers. Kind of like, don't get crazy like Dan Marino. Mm -hmm. Dan Marino put up a lot of big numbers, too. But, yeah, and even though Dan Marino got to the Super Bowl, but he never went back. But, um, yeah, Phillip Rivers, I'm going HOF. Phillip. Not first ballot, not first ballot. But I'm going Phillip Rivers H O F. Well, that's not a. I mean, shout out to NC State for you went. to mention him and Dan Marino. That's not a far take because right. career passing yards wise, Phillip Rivers has more career passing yards than Dan Marino did. Damn, two thousand two thousand yards more to be exact. I'm nice. He's number six on the all time list. Yeah, four, four spots above Eli Manning, and that's right. why I asked because I would have said numbers wise, he exceeded Eli right. Manning and. Every statistical category, completion percentage, total yards, yards per attempt, total touchdowns, touchdown to interception radio, uh, ratio, mm -hmm. he was better. But Eli has those two Super Bowls, right, right. which holds a lot of weight. It does. I see. It's not all about rings, but when you add, mm -hmm. you know, one or two, it could it could have been one. Yeah. When you had one and two with all what you already been doing, mm -hmm. but like I said, if you don't win a ring, you still could get in as a quarterback if you throw a lot of yards. But like... You got some quarterbacks like Joe. Joe Namath was a terrible quarterback. Mm. Oh yeah, his number wise, he's not really <laughs> like Hall of Fame number wise. Um, Overall, if, Joe Namath was sixty three and sixty three, and had a career completion percentage of fifty. Mm. But he, you know, he upset it uh, the Colts and that Johnny Unitas them, who uh, Jay Richardson was a wait, tight end. It wasn't it the it was the it wasn't the Chiefs that they upset. Was it? It was the Chiefs. Was he didn't it? play Johnny United. Johnny United was a little bit before. No, nah, it was the Chiefs, I think. I don't know. Or the Packers. Just like a, well, I, we'll I, I out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, anyway, he did the upset, did the famous little thing, the guarantee. Yeah. And yeah, I but, think if Phillip yeah. Rivers were to have yeah. one Super Bowl, yeah. he would be Aaron Rodgers. Well, Aaron Rodgers is more overrated than... But his, his one Super Bowl holds him... A little bit higher because of that one Super Bowl, and Philip Rivers well, has a, more career passing yards than Aaron Rodgers. I know, but Aaron Rodgers is a bit overrated, man. He's a bit overrated. Okay, well, we're getting a little, we're getting a little carried away. So, okay, basically, those two Super Bowls against Tom Brady holds a lot of weight. Absolutely. Yes? Absolutely. All right. Before, well, let me. Okay. With that being said, let me ask you this: a hypothetical. Okay. If Nick Foles were to have beaten Tom Brady back to back years in the Super Bowl. Would he be considered for the Hall of Fame? Well, well, it depends on how many years he played as a starter, too. Because just because you went two Super Bowls back to back, you have two rings. But mm -hmm. what's his number? Like, he got a lot of passing yards. That's I mean, he's I'm not saying. top 10. It's, it's decent, but it's not top 10. But he took down the GOAT in back to back seasons, which we would have done if not for no, he the won. drop oh, by Alshon said, Jeffrey. I see what you're saying. So, the the, the you so say, you after say, we beat Tom Brady in the Super Bowl, the very next year we and, were in the playoffs. And, Nick Foles took over and if, in the playoffs, right. and we lost against the Saints because of a, a drop pass, which led to an interception. Right. right. Okay. You said the moment he went in the game mm -hmm. when uh, your boy got hurt. Mm -hmm. What's his name again? I forgot his Carson name. Carson Wentz. Carson Wentz got hurt, mm -hmm. and he won the Super Bowl, obviously. And then in the next year, if he would have won Did again, the same thing. Yeah. If he would have beat Brady, because right. Brady went to the Super Bowl when they beat the Rams the following right. year. No, he wanted to be a Hall of Famer. No. Why not? That that what that holds a lot of weight, does it not? I think so. The fact that you take down the goat in back to back years. Well, well wait a minute, wait a minute. Everybody don't think he's the goat, man. Joe Montana, Joe Montana to me is the best quarterback of all time. Okay, but majority rule. If you ask people who's the goat, who are they going to say? Q? I, I don't know. You do know. Come on, let's let's see. This goes back to that whole delusional well, shit. To, I'm just this, asking you a question. If if you ask your chat. The GOAT, if we ask who's the GOAT. Well, you got a live chat. Ask him. Okay, who's the GOAT? Quarterback. Yeah, there who's you the go. Tom is better. Okay, well, let's see. Wait Tom a is sensei. Let's see. Y'all let me know in the chat, man. Yeah, that's all we got to do. And while they're answering, the reason why they, uh, the reason why Lionel said that Eli wouldn't last in today's league is because he said um, it was more of a run-heavy offense when he played. And QB's got to run, run more now. No, they don't. 
That. Donovan McNabb, Brady Line the up. GOAT. So we got two. Okay, we got two so far, two for two, Tom Brady the GOAT. I, hold on. Lionel, Lionel Messi, that's not true. That's not true. Patrick Mahomes is not a running quarterback. Even though he can get out the pocket and be spectacular, I mean, he's a magician with the football. He's not a running quarterback. He's the best quarterback in the league. But he's an, he's an elusive quarterback. That's what he's saying. You have to be somewhat of elusive, not necessarily. I think I just, is what I he's just, saying. I'm tell, I, mean, I just gave you the example. You said Patrick Mahomes, who's elusive as hell. Come on, man. Well, are you saying what is he known for? Throwing, but he's elusive. I'm, 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 I get throwing. I'm, I ain't trying to be a yeah. smart ass. I'm just saying, uh, what is he like? What he's known for? Like he's more, like a, uh, 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 he's known for making, stuff making happen. Yeah. miraculous plays. Right, right. And half of that comes with his feet work. He beat us because of his, because of his feet. So hold on, hold on. Lionel Richie said, he said, he said, no, he, no. Lionel from the Jeffersons. How do you get out the pocket? There we go. Patty gets out the pocket. He may not be a running quarterback, but he can What's escape he the pocket. Him? Patty. Patty? Patty. P-A-T-T-Y. I'm All reading right. the chat. Patty. He says, Patty. Says okay, Patty so check out this out. So wait a minute. Now, did he say, did he say the term running quarterback? That, no. That, okay. He, he said he gets out the pocket, pocket. though. I'm telling Russell you. Russell Wilson gets out the pocket. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that's today's, that's like the norm for today's QB. Like, somewhat. Even Joe Burrow, who's not the most athletic, he can be elusive at no, times. You can't put that title. No, but anyway, I, I think, I, okay, I hear what you're saying. Mm -hmm. I get it, but I still mm -hmm. think Eli will uh, succeed in this, yeah. in this, this day. I mean, he's not that far removed, but okay. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Um, so Appreciate the comment. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Shout out my dog, Lionel, man. Lionel from the Jeffersons. What's Eli, up, man? Eli had no legs. I'm actually again. He, so he's in Philly. He's an Eagles fan as well. I'm actually be out there uh, November. Well, Eli didn't need legs. Hmm? He didn't need legs. No QB back then did. Wait, wait a minute. What QBs then didn't need legs? Like today's game. Today's game is so spread but out. You don't have to have legs. Nah, you don't have to. Right. But can we name a QB who's very stationary, who's successful? Even Brady was elusive. He wasn't. He no, is. No, nah, nah, I can't give you his, that. Well, I not can't elusive. Let me, let me okay, say. In go. the pocket, his pocket presence and his feet inside the pocket were very impressive for someone who's not crazy. Right. Athletic, so you just had my point, which was what Brady just retired. Mm -hmm. He just won a Super Bowl but a few he's known, years ago. He's known for being a magician in the pocket. But Eli he was wasn't. not elusive. He was a damn nah. statue back there. Not in the pocket, he wasn't. Outside the pocket, yes. He rarely went outside the pocket. Yeah, but in the pocket, he wasn't a statue. I said, but he rarely went outside the pocket. He mm -hmm. had come back. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. Y'all just made my point. So, no, uh, Lionel from the ABC story, you just made my point. I'm, well, I'm speaking for me. I'm not speaking for him. So You he, just said that's your dog. Uh, do I? I don't, <laughs> what, what type of accent was that? I saw nothing like that. He just said that. Well, say it again. That's See, my, that's my dog. Yo, do I sound like that? Biddies, right? What you call them? Biddies. <laughs> and that's mine too. I'm a patent that. I'm a I'm a I'm a trademark that. Yeah, Biddies. No, no. Keith Murray said that on Candy Ball, so he he, he laid on that. Okay, but no one says Biddies today. Keith, oh, today I say Biddies. All right, go ahead. I say Biddies. <laughs> All right, well, listen. Um, the show has been dope, but before we get out of here, we got to end it on the weekly okay. wild take. So this is the wild take of the week. All right. Okay. Seeing as how this is. Before the season officially starts, I think it's only right that we do Super Bowl prediction, prediction, right. both mount, both, both matchup and outcome. Okay. So this weekly wild take: What's your Super Bowl Fifty Nine prediction? Here it comes. Y'all ready? Y'all ready to see the delusional happen now, in person? Let's go. Listen, listen. You can't call me delusional because I think my team is going to win the Super Bowl. Technically, I can't, no. Right? right. You know? And we're going to play the Kansas City Chiefs because I think the Kansas City Chiefs are still the best team in the AFC. Mm -hmm. Okay? And I think the final score is going to be Dallas 31 and Kansas City 17. Andy Reid is going to be the battle of the um, old school coaches. Okay. Andy Reid's an old school coach. Mike McCarthy's an old school coach. I think this win, the Cowboys going to kind of help Andy Reid. Hey, man, got to get your old ass up out of here. You done won three Super Bowls. Great, successful coaching career. Just like we did Tom Brady when we retired Tom Brady when we went down to Tampa won that playoff game mm -hmm. a few years ago. We're going to do the same thing to Andy Reid. We're going to put him out. We're going to 
Old yell at the end of the movie with Andy Reid. We'll holler at you, man. So the Dallas Cowboys <laughs> are going to end Andy Reid's coaching legacy in a Super Bowl with him scoring 17 points. That's what you're saying. Because we are a hell of a defense. No, let me make something. No, listen. The Cowboys don't have a hell of a defense? 17 points Q I'm asking you a question. In the Super Bowl? Do they not have a hell of a defense? Y'all's defense? Yes. Okay, so why is that crazy? I, I'm not a points, Panthers fan. Two yeah, touchdowns. like I'm talking about the Carolina Panthers. You're saying the Chiefs are going to score two touchdowns. Patrick Mahomes and throw a touchdown. And Jordan let, Love lit y'all asses up. You're right. And you're saying Mahomes is going to do right. worse it's than that. New, it's a new season. He did worse than that in the Super Bowl that he just won. How many touchdowns Mahomes throw in the Super Bowl? I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. So, yeah, you got Come on, man. Mahomes had a Mahomes year last year. He had more interceptions than he had. He had less passing yards. According to Mahomes' stats, he had a far worse, one of the worst years of his career st statistically, and he still won a Super Bowl. Look at the Super Bowl stats. Okay, so he had three touchdowns in, last, in the Super Bowl last year. You're saying he's going to do worse than that? No, no, no. Mahomes had three touchdowns in the Super Bowl the last Chiefs. year? The Chiefs. No, we're talking about Andy Reid. I'm talking about Patrick Mahomes. And I'm talk okay, he, he had two touchdowns in the Super Bowl. He had two. Okay, I, I thought I thought he got one in late. I knew he had one. He had two. So what you're saying? Oh, you talking about yeah? Okay, he had one in overtime. Yeah, he had two total touchdowns. Okay, he got one late, then got one in overtime. And you're saying, okay. and you're okay. saying y'all are going to do worse or hold them to a lower total number of touchdowns, worse than the 49ers did last I'm year. I'm not saying that. Two touchdowns. I didn't say nothing about the 17 points. I didn't, is two I didn't touchdowns. say nothing about the 49ers. That's two touchdowns. Oh, now you don't want to speak about the 49ers. No, but you but kept you, bringing them. Go ahead. Go but ahead. No, you're bringing up another team, and I just gave you an answer. You're bringing all, gotcha. you're putting all these teams yeah. in there. You're like that witch on Hansel and Gretel. You're putting all this stuff in the yeah, pot and trying to make me Okay, now you're, you're saying this. This is the same person that kept bringing up the 49ers whenever I said when was the last you time. You asked me a question and I answered it. Yeah. We're going to reach I, and, was, and, and, and that's all I said. You're bringing I just all wanted, these other teams I just in. wanted you to confirm Jordan that you're Love saying. Love and all that. I just want you to confirm because you still didn't confirm. You're saying that the Dallas Cowboys are going to end Andy Reid's coaching legacy in the Super Bowl with him scoring two total touchdowns. I'd have, yes. And I'd, that, like, shaking him up like, like, uh, but, George Foreman after he got knocked out by the Ali. <laughs> that's good. Because the reason why I say that, because if Andy Reid, yeah, listen, chat, listen to him. If Andy Reid, Yandy Reed's age, right? He's had a great career. Super Bowl, NFC Championship game, Donovan McNabb, Philadelphia. Well, y'all, Eagles, y'all know about Andy Reed, obviously. Big Red. Absolutely. Brought in Michael Vick, still did your thing. I get it. I'm just saying, he's at, usually, because it's hard to get to a Super Bowl and win one. It is. Yeah. So I just think that may end it. Like, you know what, guys? Had a good run. Hats off to uh, the Cowboys. And just ride off into the Sunset. To, well, no, ride off to the Hall of Fame. Yeah, that's it. And 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 that and that you believe that wholeheartedly. Yeah, what you mean? I just, I mean, I'm just again. I, your your scully is on a little tight. Your skull cap <laughs> on is a little tight. You look like Day Day on next Friday right now. <laughs> it's on a little tight. I'm just saying, like, I'm just making sure you good. You know, I'm good, man. I'm drug free. I'm good, dude. All right, cool. I'm, okay, I'm chilling. So that you heard it first here, ladies and gentlemen. His yeah. wild take of the week uh, as that's far it. as okay. Yes. Ready, ready for mine? Let's go. All right, so my wild take, my Super Bowl 59 prediction. Okay. From the NFC, Philadelphia Eagles. From the AFC, Houston Texans. Philadelphia Eagles, 34. Houston Texans, 28. Close Super Bowl. Yeah. Close Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. Now, how are the Houston Texans going to get there? Through grit. It's going to be tough. It's okay. going to be very tough. It's going to be similar to how Joe Burrow took the Bengals to the Super Bowl his second year starting. I think it's going to be very similar. I think they're going to win a lot of close games when they're the underdogs in the playoffs on the road. Um, I think they have a rematch in Baltimore and they take care of Baltimore. Um, I don't think they're going to play the Chiefs. I think someone else is going to take care of the Chiefs. And I think they'll take, whoever, take care of whoever took care of the Chiefs. Now, you said in your scenario, they should mm -hmm. send the Baltimore Ravens home. Mm -hmm. Now, Lamar Jackson had a atrocious last playoff game. Mm -hmm. I mean, slamming his helmet. I don't think he scored a touchdown. And let me tell you. Right? That was horrible. And let me, right? tell, let yeah. me tell you, not to derail, but yeah. that's Lamar Jackson's weakness. He's too emotional. Right. And 
especially in big games in the playoffs where he knows all eyes are on him. Yeah, time to show out. The lights are bright. D'Amico's a defensive-minded coach. Yes. Their offense couldn't do anything against the Ravens. Now, I think their offense is going to improve, especially with the addition of Joe Mixon. And I think that um, defensive-wise, D'Amico is going to get to Lamar, get Lamar emotional and frustrated, and that's going to be the separating factor. That's my prediction. I think you lost your mind. The fact that you, I mean, you, I, I can't even say nothing about your Eagles. I, like I said, I got your Eagles winning about eight eight games. I got them winning, <laughs> I got them going eight and nine. You guys lost to some horrible teams last year. You lost to the damn Jets with no Aaron Rodgers. But who did we beat? That was horrible. We beat the Chiefs. Then you lost to the we damn the Bears. Arizona, lonely ass we Arizona beat the Cowboys. Cardinals. The Cardinals. Y'all lost to the Cardinals too. Y'all lost to the Jets and the Cardinals. Y'all lost know, to the Cardinals too. We didn't lose two. to the Jets. That is, and dude. We fell off. I, I've been acknowledging all episode. We fell off. We did. You know how to show, Where's your brown paper bag? Brown paper bag? Yeah, to put over you. You want to win it over your head? I, I oh, saw. I was I was cussing my team out. Well, I saw your post. I was cussing them out. You was pouting. Like what do you can get what you wanted for Christmas. Pouting? What do you mean pouting? Your post. You was pouting. I was cussing my team out. I called them. I called them an embarrassment. I said they should be ashamed. I was on their ass. See, that's what us Philadelphia Eagles fans do. We hold our team accountable, and we're reasonable and we're truthful. Y'all aren't. Y'all will we see a pile of y'all will see a pile of dog shit, sprinkle some glitter on it, and call it cute. We're not like y'all. <laughs> we not we don't hold our team accountable, man. We're not we're not invested in like that. Cause when you get invested in like that, you got to go to lay on the couch and talk to somebody with a clipboard for an hour <laughs> twice a week. We don't we don't get that serious with it. We well, just chill. You just, just said chill. you don't hold your team accountable, and that's a problem if you ask me. So we don't. We lose. Oh, okay, we we'll see what happened. Right, that's it. We just nah. chill, dude. Nah. But what you said, that Super Bowl, what makes, let me make something. What makes me less delusional than you and we both got our teams in the Super Bowl? Toughquestion.com. It doesn't. The fact that we both have our teams going in the Super Bowl and both our teams only three losses on the, on the regular season. Yes, I, I call you delusional. Cowboy fans are delusional, but that's not delusional. For me to for us to pretty much say the same thing about our teams, I can't say it's delusional. I can't. I'll give you that. What's delusional, however, is the fact that you're holding your team for one, you're not holding your team to the standard, and you're saying super winning the Super Bowl is tough. Only right. one team can lose. I it. said it about why are people years. why are people so tough on us? And I gave you three reasons why they're tough on y'all. Another reason of being because delusional, of a nickname that bothers you, not just a nickname. Q. That's the it's, y'all it's, are the richest sports organization, and you have right. an egotistical owner. Right. We don't have. We know. Right. That's that's fine. Though. And that's and that's all I'm saying. Yeah, it is fine. That's all I said. I know, but you still have to think from a fan standpoint. That is, that does these guys have the talent to win it all? Who? Okay, and that's and you're saying that's the reason why y'all didn't win previous years at Super Bowl. Well, you got to have the talent, man. Sometimes, Q, see the, did whoa. Eli Manning and the Giants, when they were a wild card team, beat the undefeated New England Patriots on paper? Did they have the right. talent compared to the Patriots? No, but they they was able to get to the playoffs. They had they so had, why couldn't y'all are able to get to the playoffs? No, hold but on, y'all hold never on. finished. They had a lot of they had a few Hall of Famers on their defensive line. Michael Strahan and all them. Their defense was crazy. They had a good coach and um. Um, Coughlin, mm -hmm. and they had a quote unquote borderline Hall of Fame quarterback in Eli Manning. Mm -hmm. um, they had, a, I forgot their running backs was. I mean, they had a nice little squad. They had a nice little squad. I think uh, Manning, what's the guy's name? Manning. Whatever. I'm just saying they had a nice Mario little squad. Mario Manningham. There you go, Manningham. They had a nice little squad, right? Mm -hmm. I'm just saying, during the Cowboys rebuild years, you can't pick us to win Super Bowls during our rebuild years. Okay, then. Kick rebuild out the door. No, that's what I'm saying. Now, how many years you think we had rebuild years? Let's not. Let's. Okay, I'm giving you. I don't know, but kick those well, out the door. Well, let's talk about right. the years when y'all went to the playoffs with Tony Romo and Dak Prescott. Hell you. Now, now, now you're talking. Yes, and that's what I'm saying. I've been sitting here like on episode of Drink Chats for six hours, and uh, now you finally you finally said something that made sense. Okay, you so finally let's said talk something about, that made sense. Then let's talk so about when it. So when they lump in the other, you guys hadn't won a Super Bowl and. 30 something years. And you just said, kick out the rebuild years. Come on, go ahead. The Romo and Dak years, mm -hmm. yes, we've been falling on our face. Yes. But the mother 18 years, 
y'all still lumping together when, when we didn't have the talent. Wasn't well, nobody picking us to win in the preseason. That's what I'm telling okay. you. Okay, so, okay, so let's, okay, I'll right. give you 10 years out of the 30. Okay, so a third. You got to give me more than 10, D. Got to give me more no, than I'm 10. No, saying, I'm saying years that y'all oh. went to the playoffs with Romo and Deck. The, okay. 10 seasons. There we go. Okay, so 10 Nicole seasons. Nicole Judge Mathis, there you go. So you went 0 for 10. I agree. That's not good. I we at least won you. ours. You did. That's all I ask, man. Right at Dangerfield. No respect. You gave me a little respect. I like that. So we good. I'm reasonable. All right. Okay, so both of our <laughs> Super Bowl, but so both of our weekly wild takes is our team winning yes. the Super Bowl. Yours over the Chiefs, my team over the Texans. Yeah, yours in a close game. Yeah. Mine by two touchdowns. With the Chiefs scoring two touchdowns. Yeah, the Chiefs own. scoring two touchdowns. Yeah. And, and Andy Reid's gonna retire. Because <laughs> we retired Tom Brady. All right, man. Did we not? No. What was Tom Brady's last football game? Tom Brady retired. Y'all didn't retire. What was the last football he was game? He like 47 years old. I get it. What was the last football Y'all were the last team he played before he retired. Y'all didn't retire him. What Q. happened in that game? <laughs> Q, y'all were the last team he played before he if retired. If I was a judge, you'd be you on a tip. I'm asking him. you a question. Go ahead. What happened in Tom Brady's last football game? Who did he play and what happened? He lost against the Cowboys. Did he play after that? No. All right. You did. We can go to commercial. <laughs> Hey, listen, man. Um, now, on the real, I 100% enjoyed this. Yeah, man. Uh, as y'all can see, my man knows his stuff. Um, Fox Sports Radio Charlotte every yeah. Monday and Friday from Absolutely. 4 to 6 p.m. Um, this was this was great, man. Good, you man, know, for I'm, real, for I'm, real. I'm glad I got to kick off the season this way. I missed this. You know, I, I'm, I'm so used to just talking to women and just, you know what I'm saying, talking about regular life stuff. My number one passion is football. Right. Women are second. So to talk about my number one passion. I don't get think y'all be it. talking about regular life stuff, but go ahead. That's what <laughs> we already addressed that before. But yeah. Shout out to the women that be on here, man. And so the dude that was on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was yeah, good yeah, stuff. Yeah, Tune in the day by day by day podcast. Absolutely. But now on the real, um, this was cool, man. I'm glad yeah. to get back to talking about my my true passion. Yeah, man. Um before the season starts. And I'm excited for the season. NFL. College, even high school shit. You know yeah, what of course, I mean? so of course. It's, Gotta hear some high school games around Charlotte area. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's going to be dope, man. Uh, before we get out of here, do you have any last words for those? Um, just give them a little bit more insight on where they can find you and when they can find you. Yeah, and, yeah. And everything else. Yeah. yeah, just follow me on all my social media, man. Um, at Real QCB on Instagram. Follow me at Real QCB. Twitter at Real QCB. YouTube. Go to my YouTube channel, The Real QCB. And Facebook, the real QCB. Now I don't follow people back. Uh, I don't know how to do it. So, but follow follow me. But I don't know how to follow people back. Does that sound like welcoming? Like if I heard that, I wouldn't want to follow you. Or wouldn't you? I got good content. I have great content. You don't on follow that. because people. I don't know how to do it. People want community. People want engagement. I love when people follow me. So you got to follow them back. You got to show them me how to do welcome. it. Show me how to do it. It's a blue button that says yeah. follow back on their page. He has to show me. Again, y'all, I apologize. <laughs> um, I'm going to get him back to the nursing home after this. It is a little late. You know what I mean? I think okay, you said think it's a blue insulin, button. Insulin level's a little low. <laughs> Follow back. <laughs> and let me say this. Let me say this. Let me say this. Stop hating on Caitlin Clark. Stop hating on Caitlin Clark. Yes, she's white. We know she's white. Angel Reese is dope, right? Mm -hmm. But Caitlin Clark is the headline of the rookie class. Mm -hmm. She's the shit. Mm -hmm. She didn't win in college. She didn't have to win in college. When you lead a small school like our to uh, back to back national championship games, the first year you sent home South Carolina, who was on a two year winning streak trying to mm -hmm. win, uh, they had lost the game in two years. Mm -hmm. Then you sent home LSU, which LSU got their payback. Then you become the all time leading scorer in men's and women's in the NCAA. And you set the three mark, and you shoot logo threes like Steph Curry. And we she had, set the assist record for I think playoffs, if not regular I'm, season. Yeah, as well. and then it just carried on. Yeah. They move her games to bigger venues, to bigger venues. Mm -hmm. Stop hating on K. I'm so into women's college basketball right Leave now. Leave Brittany alone. That I sit down to pee. Well, I'm gonna let you have that. And I'm gonna you gotta try, man. You get to read and watch stuff on your phone. It's cool. Now, see, that's a pause. We ready to get out of here, here folks. I truly appreciate y'all for tuning in. Make sure that you go ahead and like, subscribe, share this out. Foosball Fanatics, you can catch on YouTube yes. and your respected podcast 
platforms. Until next week, make sure that y'all stay safe, stay sane, but most importantly, stay blessed. Yes. We out. Peace. We out.